Well, fuck Christian McCaffrey, man. I did it the year before. I, that bitch. I see you're paid. Dog, it fucking <laughs> sucks having like a good player like that. The one year I had Christian McCaffrey was my first year of uh, Dynasty Ball, and I had drafted him and I traded him. So I didn't smart. get any of the good stuff. It was his yeah, rookie year. Oh, never mind. Not yeah, smart. Who did you trade him for? Picks. Picks and you're a player I don't remember. You're a dickhead. Well, that's funny as hell. Yeah, no, he's definitely crazy. not. There's no way he can go number one in fantasy anymore. There is a way. Because when he's healthy, he's a guaranteed 22 points. He, okay. But you have no idea when he's going to be healthy, though. You don't. It might be worth the risk, though. If I get one, one, I'm trading back. You so I'm going to make the decision. Holy hey, people are stupid, shit. man. People, people have done dumber things before. Look at me. Mahomes first round? Exactly. Niggas is <laughs> dumb. <laughs> niggas are not smart, and I am niggas. Mm. Well, all right. Uh, Critically Unfocused Podcast, episode 50. If you thought we were going to be coming in here and talking about Skeet Davidson and Kanye, you had it wrong. If you thought we were going to be talking about uh, what else happened this week, um, your favorite wow. rapper's album that just dropped this week, you had it fucking wrong. If you thought we were going to be talking about March Madness NCAA tournament and why your bracket sucks and why you should have never put that bracket in the first place, you may have had that wrong too. Um, uh, we might talk about that a little bit. Shout out to you. If you thought we were going to be talking about um, transitioning in D1 sports and that, what the effect of that and all that stuff, you probably had that wrong too. <laughs> no <laughs> shot. Free agency happened. Thank and a bunch God. of shit that goes along with that happened. Ooh, thank God. <laughs> we might talk about massage parlors though. You never know. I think that's that's actually relevant information though. That's not just out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yes, it is. Yeah, it can't you got to know the law of, of your local In jurisdiction. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are massage parlors be. illegal anywhere? I feel like they're always up. People have to know that they're like, there's a website for them. Getting a there's massage a is not illegal. The shit that happens beyond that is <laughs> like human Yelp, trafficking. Illegal. There's a Yelp website for where you can go get that kind of massage. Like the cops I'm can just guarantee Google where the that crime website is. is a honeypot. I guarantee that website's a honeypot. But it just you don't have to put any info. What's a honeypot? Just go to go to the a place. honeypot means it's there to bait you into doing some stupid shit. So uh, like, on it. <laughs> hey, click here to, to book your thing or whatever. Or oh, this no, is the no. number to call the parlor. But that number is actually not their number. That That's number is like one. The FBI. That's hilarious. Hey, all they got they got the address and the phone number on there. That's all you need. You don't even need yeah, it. You go in there and Chris Hansen got rubbing rubbing oil on his hands. <laughs> see it over there. Hey, Chris Hansen and two people that work at Panda Express. I mean anybody can work at Panda Express. What are you trying to actually say? Why why Panda Express is playing? I don't know. Who's supposed to be working? <laughs> uh probably young people earlier in their career. Yeah. People that you would want them making that kind of food though. <laughs> As they, I heard a joke about that, or not that, but like someone trying to do the same shit you're trying to do right now. Um, they were talking about, uh, but again, this is not, we're not getting into this Juicy Smollett getting um, oh, released God. on appeal, Juicy? right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but they're talking about him getting released on a, on a, on appeal, and then he said, like, you think that's privilege? He's like, dog, I don't, I don't know privilege, man. Like, what kind of privilege would that be? You're like, uh. Well, and it was on a podcast, and no one wanted to say anything. It was like, celebrity oh. proof. It was like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know them celebs. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, like, what kind of privilege? I'm like, oh, gay privilege, I guess? Is that a thing? Uh, I had to say it. Even they didn't say it. You still said uh, it. Is that a thing? Like, if you're like... Hey, I don't people so. have ideas like, that like maybe gay, certain pri- communities privilege? get um, more favors and things. Not that they're true or anything like that. But it's just perception. But gay black man privilege, is that a thing, though? Uh, he's kind of had all like, a wild ass run of like Chase making the police go through hoops for no nah, fucking reason. Him, but he got he's so, going to jail. So no, he's not. He got he, out. Uh, he, he, he appealed he it. Got, he got the appeal. Nah, he, yeah. he, he got honestly, the appeal. and got to go home after five days. Like oh, yeah. he got paid a fine and that's it. Yeah, nah, kind of <laughs> crazy. Now that you think about it, yeah, I'm, <laughs> hey, there might be some privilege there. Now that you th- mentioned it, it's like shit. But he got what yeah. like five months, right? Yeah. They, gave they, that shit was they said they said they needed to put him back in there because if not, he might try this to a Blimpy's next or something. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> no, that story was so wild when it came out. 
They, like, they pulled on my heartstrings. I believed it for at least a day. And think the next day, everyone started asking questions. I was like, yeah, oh, I think shit, I believed it at first. Wild. And then everybody just started talking about it. I'm like, wait. It was a sensitive time. It like, it's it's that, definitely one of those stories that when you hear it, it's like, oh, damn, that's fucked up. Somebody jumped him. And, and then, then you, you start think to about think, it. Like, oh, MAGA wait. hats, of course they did it. <laughs> Mag- yeah. And then the MAGA hats was like, hey, aren't you the nigga from Empire? Like, wait nah, a minute. He, they said, he, <laughs> nah, he said they said something else. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not gonna repeat that. I'm yeah. just saying the nigga from Empire. That's what they asked them. Oh, I thought they nah, called yeah, him a slur. And his his stories was nuts. Nah, yeah, it was, it was like three in the morning, and it's like in Chicago, so it was like two degrees. Yeah. And it was like, it was one of the times where Chicago, Chicago was in like a blizzard. Yeah, it was like sub zero temperatures. Yeah, he said they poured bleach on him, which is hilarious. Like they were and just walking around a with noose, noose around? and a bleach. <laughs> nah, yeah. and he walked into the <laughs> the noose on his neck. <laughs> I'm yeah. still mad that Blake He's called him Juicy. <laughs> that was a wild boy. Nah, he oh made his, he was trying to make something. He was like a fucking political prisoner <laughs> and all this other stuff, too. This, let him start telling me. Yeah, like, I'm, like just, a, I'm just upset Asada he had his sister lying for him, too, man. Like, and the nigga said he was like, he, that young, I'm the gay Tupac. Remember he said that or some <laughs> shit like that? He did say that? something like that, didn't he? He was like, I'm the gay Tupac. I'm like, nigga, what? Did you just say I'm Tupac? I was yeah, like, what Tupac's already the gay Tupac? Uh, no. Anyway, but yeah, no. All right. <laughs> Let another ever take that foot tub pick, y'all. Like, y'all. <laughs> that is a wild picture. But hey, man. <laughs> hey, 50, Fifty Cent said it at best, man. It's for the bitches, nigga. That's an insane <laughs> picture. That is an insane picture. I want to know who took it. That's for Do you the have underwear on under the chains? Wait, what? I have so many questions. I don't know. Like. I, I think you're all time bad package. timing right now. So y'all pick something to start on, and I will be right back. You, you see what I'm dealing with right here. You're the absolute worst person I've ever met. Well, you yeah. know, I told you I was getting on. 48. I'm just kidding. Y'all can do anything about that. It's all good. I'll be right back. Oh, it's a pack watch. Uh oh. Ins- insert the uh, what is it? The lighter uh, the lighter noise from the from the uh, Chronic album. There we go. Yeah, Baylor pack watch got them pussies out the paint. Uh oh, UNC Uh-oh. thinks they're making a niggas, run. Niggas went on a twenty-one four run and still lost. Niggas is pussy. They went on a 24, 21 to four run. Yeah, in the fourth quarter. God damn. Yeah, we blew. We blew a lead. Holy shit! Yeah. How much y'all went by? Six. Okay. Okay. But hey, man, I think we were the ninth seed and they were the number one. So yeah, that's true. Hey, man, that's true. you know how them uh, North Carolina teams uh, they kind of step up. An attorney, so shout out Until to Hubert uh, Davis and his white wife. He's a uh, <laughs> salute, salute a black king. She has to be very proud. She has to be proud. I am proud. Let's go. Yeah. Now we just need Duke to lose to Michigan State. Shout out to uh, oh, that's doable. Shout out to my uh my Michigan nigga. Shout out Lansing. Shout out Flint. Shout out Detroit. Coach K is gonna lose his fucking shit if they lose that game. Like, if that's how he ends his career, is like losing in the fucking round of 32. Hey, man. <laughs> I got love for Detroit, man, and Michigan. Let's, let's, let's get him Detroit's out on here. the opposite side of the state of where Michigan State's at. Shout out to Tom Izzo. <laughs> Shout out to Sadiq Bay. He dropped 51 the other day. Okay. How many people do you know from Michigan State? Or are you just shouting out the entire state of Michigan? Just the state. Do you know that? Okay, just the state. Shout general. out to the Sada whole, Baby. Shout out to Ice Boy Izzo. Okay. Hey, speaking that, of Ice Square Vezo, the two best Crip rappers aren't from Cali out right now that are active. Okay. Okay. Who are they? You order from? Uh, Atlanta, Detroit and Atlanta. Detroit. Yes, sir. Yeah. Are, you, are you saying Lil Baby's a Crip or you, is somebody else? Oh, no, I want rapper? to talk about Lil Baby. Who are you talking about? Pee Wee Longway? Yes, sir. Pee Wee Longway is a better rapper than uh, G Perico? Yes. Okay, okay. You got a point though. Most of, I mean, ever since they took Nipsey out, I guess most of the good rappers are bloods from LA. YG, I'm I'm J Worthy. Did, so did you like that? Hey, I I fuck with that uh that YG single he dropped the uh the one with um Money Bag and uh J Cole on mm-hmm. it. You listen to that shit? I I haven't heard it. That's a it's not bad. That's a wild combination. I thought so too. I like, Yo, YG Money Bag and J Cole. Yeah, but nah, it, it's a good song. It's actually not bad. I have to listen to it. Yeah, That's incredible. Was, What's it called? Was, pff, scared money or something like that. Okay, yeah, to, it's a cool. Like it's cool. Like J Cole. Goes YG don't really kinda, miss. Like YG could be kind of corny, but as far as music goes, he don't really miss. Like that nigga, he has hits. Like consistently. Yeah, he, he, he have, he have, damn. R.I.P. Slim Four Hundred, man. They just 
Rip. You think and, it's comfortable uh, doing the what? blood walk and them uh them them all black uh tap dance shoes he be wearing? Oh man. I don't know actually. I'm not a big fan of that dance if we keep it in a buck. The sea the, the sea walk is way better. It's a way better dance. I, I swear I be seeing blood sea walking. Like that's just like the go to dance for hood niggas, if you really think about yeah, it. Yeah, they probably just they probably just put a little twist on it. It's a cooler dance, honestly. It's it's probably the coolest dance. Like see the sea I can't think of another dance that had hoods all everywhere in the chokehold the way the Seawalk did. Like the Cat Daddy didn't hit like that. Jerkin didn't hit like that. Maybe uh, Snap Dancing. That was had a three year run. The Seawalk been cool since the seventies. Nah, Snap Dancing definitely had a longer than a three year run. Let me see. I could I'll go from okay maybe like four. I I'll give it like four or five yeah, maybe. At the most, it was it was middle school. It was like seventh grade to like ninth, tenth grade maybe. I was trying to think. Maybe. Thinking, but yeah, by yeah, three, four by years. By 2008, you, we wasn't snapping right. no more. It was the Dougie was out then. Jerkin was in then. Yeah, yeah so those, was, I, they had that little run where like every, like they had the crank that, then they had the, uh, the, the yeah, it the was like Batman. 05 till, 04, 05 till what, 06, 07 maybe? That sounds right. That was a good era. And, um, was a good era. Damn, yeah, I remember where every song would came out with a dance. Jerkin, Cat Daddy. Dog. Every song run. had a dance. But the songs you know, used to be good too. It wasn't like they was making bullshit songs. You know, a song I thought was hard. I fucked with that Ricky Bobby song with B Hamp. I thought that song. Oh was my hard. god! I used to hate <laughs> that fucking song. Holy shit! I used to hate that song. Oh my god! Dude, I thought, uh, yeah, I fucked with that song. There were some bangers back then that were like absolute bullshit. When you go back and listen to them, that party like a rock star song changed the world for a year. It's one of the worst. Ah, do you remember I don't want to say that. I'm do you remember that second it. single they dropped? That sounded literally just like that? No, I do not. I did not know yeah, they had a like second song. Like their second song. song. Yeah, their second song they tried to drop. It literally that sounded just been, like part of like That should have been the one hit wonder. That song's a fucking banger now. That I'm I don't know how it. That song was really on. big. Party Shot like boys. a rock. Party like a rock star. Party yeah. like a rock. That shit was yeah. tough. Blake, do you remember that second single they tried to drop? That sounded literally just like that? No, the what's what's the name of that group again? Shot boys. Shot boys. Hold on, I got you. Oh please, please don't. <laughs> oh man, I don't even know how we just got on that subject when we started riffing. Because we were talking that about uh, song. game uh, dances in every song, and then we yeah. got the one hit wonders from there. There's four yeah, different, no. five different party like a rock star versions that are. Um, <laughs> yeah, but that's the, probably their whole yeah. Apple Music like disc. Up. Can you find what their was second? the next single called? Uh, you don't know. You know you don't know. I have no. But it's it literally sounds just like party like a rock star. No. No, nah, that doesn't sound like it. Okay. They got a David Banner beat. That's. Oh, hold on. Hold hey. <laughs> on, <laughs> They got some velvet to it. Oh who, no! Who gave the, who gave them that beat? I feel like that <laughs> style of beat was hella popular for a stretch. They did not deserve that. Some of these beats are like, hard. What the fuck? You know what style of beat was was up and just never is coming back. What's up? That whole little wave polo that the dawn, the dawn had. I don't really what even know how to describe it, but uh, like the, the he was making the chameleon at beats, right? Wasn't he? No. Um. Or no, he had a good one. I can't think of Rich Boy had had a good one. Um, Rich Boy, that's who it was. I think he hey. made Love in This Club. Yeah, he did. Hey, Rich oh, Boy's album was hard. Hey, I Love in This Club is a good ass beat. Yeah, that's the Usher, but it, Usher shit, right? Uh huh. Yeah, it was just it was just an era though. Like that, that, I don't know. That sound ain't coming back. It's like one specific person is good at it. Like that's like way too epic for like music now. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that is very, epic is a good word for that. That is very good. Yeah. All right, fuck. I we got said all the shit we we're not talking about. Look at the shit we are talking about. <laughs> we, 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 well, just, we definitely talked about, about the NCAA like the second you walked away. Oh yeah, I appreciate sure. y'all. Yeah, shout out yeah, to uh, UNC Pack Watch uh, Baylor. Yep. Yeah. If someone needs uh-huh. me like to lose money for them on purpose, I'll uh, um, definitely make a bracket for them next year. Bracket's not looking I good. You. 
Oh, it never is. <laughs> <laughs> you you feel good the first like six games. You're like, okay, I'm cooking. Oh, never mind. First six games. Yep. All right, be, never mind. Uh, <laughs> if you if they still got that thing where like if uh you make a perfect bracket, doesn't Warren Buffett like give you a job or give you like a million dollars or some shit like that? Isn't that I'm pretty thing? sure, but nobody ever gets a perfect bracket, so they never yeah, they have no reason impossible. to stop doing it at this point. Yeah, I was talking to somebody. You gotta like be somebody like, like they never heard that. You just gotta get hella lucky. That's, that's the time the travel upsets. shit that people need to do. Like you time travel, is, don't go sports bet. Get a perfect bracket. Oh, hell <laughs> I think yeah. this morning ESPN ran on their website that there was twenty two perfect ones left. Wow, mm, and they're at the, what the round of thirty two right now. Yeah, out out of started with like over two million brackets or something Jesus like that. Christ, like well over two million, maybe maybe over three million. Yeah, I know. I think Kentucky, obviously, Kentucky fuck most people over. Oh hell yeah! I've never heard of St. Peter's before. They will beat Kentucky. Ever. No, I don't know where that's at, no. who they got. They're that's in Florida. It. Got it. Okay, Florida Gulf Coast. Yeah. I don't it might not even be the Gulf Coast, might be on the Atlantic. <laughs> don't know. Couldn't tell you. Yeah, could be anywhere. I, no, I'm saying the the school of Florida Gulf Coast just rebranded as a different school and hop back in it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah I yeah, remember yeah. that. They had a little row. Yeah, they yeah. No, that's three years in a row Kentucky done lost to some nobodies though, I think. So Loyola Coach. lost too, right? Uh, did they play Ohio State? Yeah, I think they might have lost. Yeah, Sister Jean, uh, Sister Jean Pack. <laughs> hey, you gotta be all that, man. Well, that Sister Jean on Pack Watch is incredible. That woman ain't hurt no much. She's 103 years old, living her best. Man. At least she's her been on Pack Watch for a decade. That's crazy. Oh shit! But, nah. It is kind of crazy. Once you, if you're 100, you've really just been old like our entire life. Like you've been elderly our entire life. Yeah, no, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I'm trying to move away from, from the pack watch. All yeah, right, let's talk about that's, that's, the, that's a blessing. Any, anything else? Okay. Why must you be so dramatic? Are you okay? They've been having her, at the, been having her court side of the tournament. Yeah, you know, what happens if she just dies during the middle of a game? What are the odds of that NCAA happening? Tournament. There's <laughs> not too money Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm just saying this. It's not too unlikely, right? The game's are going on. Probably, oh, probably shit. I think they probably make sure she's in decent enough health to go to the game before she goes to the game. She's not in the thing where it's like, yo, you might die in there. <laughs> like, we're not going to send her. Okay. Do you ever feel bad about being the way that you are? Hey, man. So I'm just asking. I'm just asking questions, man. You just if she dies the in the game, do they like go on a run and they win the tournament for her? <laughs> I think maybe the game gets postponed. Why? What's so special about her to get that the game would be postponed? Nuts. It's just some old white woman that just died of old age. Why would they postpone the game? If anybody dies courtside, if she was the game, just I that, then, then I don't think they would keep showing her. She's kind of important to that school and team. They may just like withdraw. Is she like she's she like she, go to the that, school? That school is a Catholic institution, and I think she's their highest ranking like official from the Catholic Church. Ooh, but she's cool. been there for a very long time. It doesn't mean anything to you, but it means something to them. So, oh, no, them niggas on the team don't give a fuck, man. I guarantee Maybe if we're they on that team the right now. Does. If me and Tyrell in that locker room. Hey, we finna do this for Sister G. Me and Tyrell in the back of the huddle. Like, we don't give a fuck about this shit, man. Let's just go play. Do you think? Do you think those twelve players on the team are more important, or like the thousands of people at the school that give money to the school and like support yeah, and, the program? And also, don't rope me in on your shenanigans. No, we're a package deal. I fuck with Sister G. Yeah, no, no we're you not don't. a package deal. <laughs> we can talk about anything else? No, we're the Wolf Pack, dude. We got Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, and Razor. Uh, or Scott Hall, Kevin Scott, Scott Hall, Kevin Dude. Nash, and uh, what X Pop? You're for sure the. So dead you one. can talk about uh, packing out an old white woman who's still alive, but the dude that's actually dead, you keep bringing him up like he's here. Hey, R.I.P. to a legend, a real legend. He he he, he deserves some camera time, man. Shout out to. Uh, but somebody could say a bunch of negative shit about him that could make him nothing, just like you try to make negative shit oh, about her there's negative shit about everybody like i'm like you know he struggled with his uh substance abuse and alcoholism and look how look was, how nicely you talk about him though because you actually I'm, like him i'm just saying like <laughs> I know oh he, he said, struggled like, with it but if yeah. it was something you like he's like yeah you know he's sucking the dick off that bottle like <laughs> hey yo relax <laughs> you tell kinds of wild shit like that <laughs> hey, man r.i.p to a legend raisa uh, ramon aka mm-hmm. scott hall all right uh, were, Shakur, were these all the things that were on your outline? You were just going to come in and put Sister Jean on pack watch? No, nah, I just thought about because we were talking about the NCAA tournament. And then, because I saw, I thought they lost. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that old lady is on pack watch. Because I see, I had like a bleach report notification. They was talking about Sister Jean team something. I'm like, oh, I don't give a fuck about her. Like, I'm surprised she was still alive because I feel like they were still talking about her like a couple years ago. 
You're a different hey, breed. That's all I've got. You are a different breed. I just be keeping it a hundred. I <laughs> Blake, help. <laughs> what do you got? What do you got? I, what are we doing? Are we trying to talk about you talking about other shit? We're we talking about football. What are we doing? Oh man, I'm asking you. What, you what y'all want to get into, man? Jesus Christ. I, have, okay. I can like I have questions that are related to football, but I, I was under the impression. <coughs> Let's do those first, so that way we can end the show on the football. That's going to take the longest. Let's do your questions first. All right. Ooh, like what kind of questions are these? Like hypotheticals. Um. Actually, yes. Yeah. Um, okay. So first one: rank these three in importance. Um, intentions, actions, and outcomes. No, oh, I got to really think. Hold on. Uh, outcome, I, I think guess? for me, outcome got to be per- oh, okay, okay. My bad. So, outcome, ver- outcome is first, and then what's the other two intentions and what intentions and actions like what someone meant to do, what someone actually did, and what the effect okay. of what they action did. is two, and then the third one is third. <laughs> the intentions third is, is the third. Le- least important part, yeah. Hmm. I think I'd say actions are the most important, uh. Outcome is second and intentions is third. I want to put intentions second, but the outcome's pretty fucking important. Exactly. Uh, yeah. The most so, important, I'm honestly. Go, I'm going to go actions first still. Uh, and then yeah. outcomes and intentions. So if some, let's say like, let's say somebody, somebody like the outcome of something that someone did was it, it benefited you, right? But their intentions were like to hurt somebody else. Like that, that's how come they did the action they did. You don't know the person, you don't know anything about that, but like you benefited from it. Like that's that still follows what you're saying, right? Like where outcome is the most important part in that scenario, because rightly is like the rest of the shit. I don't really care like what you were trying to do or what your overall goal was. I benefited. Yeah, I kind of think it's more important what you did. Like what you did is the most important thing to me than the outcome for sure. Cause like yeah. Yeah. If I don't, uh, I gave you a million dollars because I killed 50 people. It's like, I don't really want this million dollars like that. But my yeah. goal was to like make you a better person. Like, I, hey, I would fucking, that would feel weird. I would, we'll still spend a million dollars. That would feel uh, weird. Think yeah. about it for a second. <laughs> but yeah, no, What's so going to happen if I don't take it? You're not, you're not going to come back. <sighs> you taking blood money. You a nasty man. Uh, All money's blood nah, money. Not yet. Actions are definitely the most important <laughs> for me. Open your third eye. I don't yeah. want to open my third eye. Okay, why did you ask us that? What are yours? What is your order? Uh, I think outcome one, action two, intentions third. Yeah, I think hey, in real the life boat. they're probably the same. Like they're probably the same in importance, but uh, yeah, actions mean a lot to me. You think they're all equal in real life? Yeah, like honestly, like if you don't have to rank them, like they are pretty, all pretty uh, equal. No, I don't think so because like, when so we either. talk about like, um, so you guys like, at, like you know, some good outcome intentions? favors you. You're good. You we we talk about this stuff like all the time, like when it comes. To, we talk about this stuff like all the time, like when it comes to like public figures and uh, like let's say like policies and stuff like that. Um, somebody will um, be in a position where I don't know, like yeah, like let's say like some somebody's running for office, right? And they do something like they go to down to a, a mostly black community, do something helpful there. Um, and they have all their cameras there. They're doing it all in their political run. But there's people there that benefited. Right. And I think a lot of times like people will see something like that and be like quick to shit on it. And be like, oh, you're just doing that for the look or whatever. But re- regardless, like someone actually benefited from what they did. Right. So like in reality, like, no, we don't actually value outcomes higher than than the rest of this stuff. Um even though we all think we would right now, like it's just we look at things and, and kind of try to in find context. the motive in it and then talk about that more than what actually happened. Yeah. And I guess, yeah, it depends on the, what the thing is also. Yeah. So yeah, I, yeah. It contextually is it, everything changes for sure. Yeah, it's like, just interesting how that works though. Like, I don't know. It's yeah. interesting. Like, even on a super scale, Tyrell, like if, uh, like you're, you guys are my friends. Let's say I want to, I want to surprise Tyrell <laughs> with some, uh, some baked goods. My intentions are well. I want to make him happy, give him a snack. But let's say I make him fucking banana nut bread. And he's like, oh, what is it? I don't know. It's a surprise. Oh, this is good as fuck. I gave him something he's allergic to and he might die now. So it doesn't matter like what my intentions were. Like, yo, the outcomes are like, yo, I get to make something he's allergic to. 
Yeah, that's true. So and now, now and that, and we're really talking about that more than like how kind you were to give him bread. Yeah, well, yeah, and we all had intentions left, so I kind of agree there. But yeah, I guess contextually, if your intentions were to kill me, <laughs> like yeah, <laughs> with sure. like yeah. Hey, I just think of what the great Tupac said, or uh, I made a G today, but you did it in a sleazy way. Don't nobody want to get nothing in a sleazy way. Do it the proper way. The actions well, who said link that? Up. Whose voice was that? Whose voice was I, that? Some nigga selling crack to the That's kids. You gotta get paid. That's a fucking hater. <laughs> That's the guy oh who didn't God. make a G today. He's like, yeah, wow. this is what you did to him. Like, broke Yeah, you sold crack to kids. Your actions were <laughs> awful. But I made a G, so I'm, nigga. I'm, I'm breaded the fuck up. They should stop smoking wow. crack. Wow. Yeah. Blake's yeah, a fucking crack. anomaly. This nigga's <laughs> no, morally bankrupt. Kidding. My God. Blake Brown sells <laughs> crack to kids. Confirmed. Episode Ooh, 50 speaking of, of the crack. Crack. Focus Podcast. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just fucking with <laughs> <laughs> I don't got <laughs> I got okay. Um, I want to know what Blake went through this week that had that on his mind. He's like, if oh, I... hey, speaking of crack, fuck Jimmy Smith. From All the right. Jazz. Right. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember what made me write that one down. Honestly, I don't. This next one. Um, okay. I... Dog food. Jamal, do you... what is what is your current uh, relationship status? If you care to share. Gay. Oh wow! I'm in a relationship. You are? Why, what's up? Yes, sir. Okay, this so this question will work for you too. All right. This is about platonic friends, right? Um, have you have either of you made new ones since being an adult? So I don't get what so I've heard people say platonic uh friends. Okay, I should let me let me say what I mean by this. I feel like I've friends heard of the opposite sex that are just strictly your friend. Have you made any new ones of those since you've been an adult? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> No, uh, dead ass, that, yeah. I didn't. I don't believe how he just answered that question. Uh, Have you made any I, new ones of those since you've been an adult and in your current relationship? Yeah. Well, I think you about to get this nigga shot. <laughs> so, uh, like, so who are your platonic friends, nigga? I have to think. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't know. Uh, actually, I don't know. I, that's actually a good question. It's kind of. I would say it's hard for that me shit to is answer tricky that question <laughs> because I, I have not even. That. I just have to I, think about it. I have girls that I work with that I would consider nah. friends, but I if don't. If you stopped hang working out. there, how much would you still talk to them? There are a couple I would definitely still talk to and hang out with, but almost never would it be alone. I don't think. Mm-hmm. Like I've, mm-hmm. I haven't hung out with any of my female coworkers. <laughs> it's just me and them, and I don't think I can't really think of a situation where I would. Would I still talk to them? See them at like invite them to a get together? Absolutely. But yeah, I can't. It think sounds of like, like acquaintances, oh, not friends. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's kind of it. I ha- yeah, yeah. I guess that's it. But yeah, okay. So definitely not. And then yeah, uh, I guess this next one doesn't really matter because um. So then that that you're basically getting to what I said. Like the ones that you do like keep around and like you'll go around places with, they kind of have to be friends with like your other right, like with your partner. Like you can't really have platonic friends that aren't friends with your wife. At the same time, it's like I can have friends that are dudes that aren't friends with my wife. For sure, <laughs> uh, it's almost exclusively like that. Like Amara is almost exclusively not friends with any of my male friends because she mm-hmm. doesn't have a reason to. And then, like mm-hmm. the only female that I'm like hella cool with is Hallie, who we've lived with, and her and yep. Amara are like best friends now. It would be yep. weird if like you, and you probably they didn't before, get along. Right? Oh Did yeah, I've know? known Hallie since I was like ten years old, eleven years old. It's uh, been different you know since like you've been with Amara because like she's like they're, they're honestly like, they're best be- friends. So they're better like... friends now. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. they're best friends, and I'm the nigga that just brought the two of them together. Who put this shit together? Yeah. I'm the glue. Oh shit. I hope they listen mm-hmm. to this shit too. Hallie listen. Michigan. Just know, nigga. Michigan upset Tennessee. Wow. Bracket well, dying I'm... left and right. And Juwan oh, Howard back God. coaching. Shout out to my guy. Okay. I have more Chicago questions here, but like they're like hey. they kind of all y'all answered them just in your answers. Like no, I just thought not... the whole entire situation was interesting. Like it's like one is an adult it's it's weird enough and hard enough to make new friends as it is for and sure it's like don't let that other person that like is semi-compatible and like could be a friend to you be like of the opposite sex because then you yeah. have like this whole entire like weird thing to navigate to even i don't know and if I, you don't I guess meet why them I, with your with, with your partner there like <laughs> yeah it's hella weird because like i can't think of a circumstance where like because i it like to your point of like the acquaintance thing i do have women that i work with that like we like get along on a lot of things. We have fun talking to each other. Text seldomly, not very much, but mm-hmm. it is like I can't think of a circumstance where I'm like, "Hey, babe, my, me and Victoria are about to go like 
to the mall mm-hmm. or to the casino like me and Jamal do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like that would be weird for me. Like, yeah, I'm going to the casino with the homegirl. Um, but if I, yeah, if I said the same thing about someone I've been a female I've been friends with forever, you'd be like, oh, okay. There might be questions asked, I guess, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it is hard enough to make friends with an adult though. With men, it's just like, yeah, you're not going to question. If, if Brie was like, hey, I'm going to hang out with Jan. I'm tomorrow, going to lunch with my, with my coworker. That's a dude. Yeah. We're fine. Yeah. We're going just two of us by ourselves. For, and my first question is for what? <laughs> like, what if, why, why y'all both hungry at the same time? What the fuck is mm-hmm. happening? I feel like I, you don't yeah. really make too many like friends. I think you kind of get like a, a certain age. I feel like after like high school, that I shit feel like is I, hard. It's tough. I feel yeah, but I feel like you kind of don't go out like looking for friends. I feel like you just kind of like, but I guess like most of the time, like you make your friends from like like school and like growing up or with people in, like yeah, your neighborhood yeah. and like sports I, and stuff. I guess like coworkers, I, like you become friends with some of your coworkers, but like I think I asked me, you guys this on here maybe or maybe I just thought about, about it but was afraid like to. That. How do you shoot your shot as like for a friend? Like if you see oh, yeah, a dude you that you're cool that, with, that, oh, yeah, sorry. like are you, you just like, hey, bud, <laughs> you seem cool. Can we hang out? Perfect, dog. Like I, I'm one. I'm introverted as fuck as it is, and then two, it's like because of that, like I, do, I, I like you guys. Like I don't really want to invest the time to get to know people. Like I know you guys again. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't want to do that, even though I do want like local friends here. Yeah, that would be very nice, but it's like. I haven't met anybody who I feel like I would really want to talk to as much as I talk to you guys. So, so that's know. a good point. If you live in North Carolina, or away from everybody you ever known, how like if you guys stay there for another decade, how do you go about making friends? You gotta have gay cards just like yo. I just want to be friends. Yeah. Well, so my 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 <laughs> plan is right now. Basically, what? Hold on. What did you say? <laughs> what What did this man say? <laughs> I heard at bars. I don't know what started making. I said it you gotta like go this. to gay. You gotta go to gay bars and be like, yo, I just oh, wanna be friends. <laughs> no, that's real shit though. Like, yo, if you up front and honest, I, right, I thought you were gonna say, like, I mean, the golf course. Uh, you know what? Maybe. I might though, but I'm gonna go look for the lesbians because then, then I can't get in trouble at all. We're all good. You don't, you don't want nothing from me. I don't want nothing from you. <laughs> we can just kick it. Blake's best friend is a stud from Bust Down. <laughs> wow, that shit is hell funny. Young mom, that's it. <laughs> No, nah, she is she is hilarious. She got the crispy that, waves too. Hey, that does sound hella different too. Like if you're like, hey babe, like uh Shonda's coming over, we're about to like play 2K for five hours. She'd be like, What the fuck? And she come over dressed like you, and you're like, Oh, okay, cool, this is fine. <laughs> that chick got the butters on that show. Okay. okay, but Blake, tell us your strategy for right. making friends. All right, yeah, so, so um that's how come like last year I played in that softball league um through my job. And then, too, like with golf, too, it's like you normally play in foursomes. I haven't done that yet. I've only played by myself. But ideally, as I get better. Oh, you've been playing it, by yourself? Yeah, I always play by myself. Oh, um, for I thought you just went with some other people. No, I'm, I go by myself. Um, uh, my course isn't that busy. But as I get better, I'll go to courses that are busy and join in foursomes with people and talk with them and stuff like that. But other than that, yeah, it's just it's really just um, it's through work. And like just be like work doesn't like. Where it's not like school, where it's like you're going to be around people who are at like probably like the same points in life as you, yeah, you know, same age. Because shit. of that, you, you yeah, you kind of have more similar common. general interests. People yeah. are from all over the place at work, so that's true. Um, it, you, at best, you, I mean, I have coworkers that like uh, at least I can talk to about like parenting stuff and everything like that. That who might have kids around the same age as me, but um, that doesn't necessarily mean that it goes beyond that or anything like that. But I don't know. Just, just you just go through the phases and hope something comes up, man. But I'm I'm fucking thirty, and I've been here for almost four years now. So not I don't know. Now I'm starting to get kind of sad because <laughs> 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 yeah, my niggas are coming. You got a good point. Like honestly, I, it helped for me that like I work in a place where like we're generally all the same age, like. Mm-hmm generally have the same interests like we work in a place where it makes sense for everybody to have a lot of commonalities so it's easier to be like cool like we watch the same sport what you do on sunday and then easy as that men watch one sport game together and you're like best friends shortly after that so it's hella easy i don't know some niggas be weird some niggas do be weird but that's the best way to find out i'm not i'm not watching this with you again that's true yeah Yeah. and then especially like at my job i feel like there's hella like there's a big well i guess i'm one of like maybe a few people in their 30s so everybody's like hella older but like some you know like some yeah. older dudes be cool like you know yeah. you talk you talk to people you're you not your friend yeah. yeah 
you know, like someone you, you consider someone like someone be cool. They'd be like, it's cool for an older dude. There's definitely yeah, like, cooler oh, people at, at Someone your be job, like, OGs oh, and shit. Like, there's probably like, my uncle. Just, yeah. <laughs> there's two people. Like, there's like two dudes I would say, like, they're the homies that I work with, but they're like close to my age. Like, hey, one's like 38, one's like 34. So, like, they're cool. Yeah. Like, I've gone out and had drinks with them, but then, yeah. But, you know, I'm in like the world. I couldn't imagine. Yeah, no. Yeah. At work, at 29 years old, I'm one of the older people in my friend group. At work. Damn, that's crazy. Because we range from like 21 to like at the oldest, like 35, 36 for people that all kind of kick it together. I am by far the youngest. So yeah. old <laughs> Sounds about right. Well, yeah, I I think they're late 30s, mid 40s probably. Yeah. Damn. Nah, dude, finding, finding friends as an adult, especially as an adult. I mean, I'm sure women would say the thing from my perspective, especially as an adult man, because it's frowned upon to like, <laughs> I have a person in mind specifically who it's like, damn, like every time we talk on Twitter or something like that, it seems hella cool. Like it would be fun to kick it. But how do I ask? You, like, oh, hey, friend. <laughs> like, I like what hey. we have. How can we take this further? <laughs> we crush it on, man. You ready to go to third base? You got together? a friend crush. <laughs> you oh, got shit. a friend crush. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Hey nigga, you're Yo, funny. What you I'm doing, bro? I'm not gonna bro? lie. I got a free crush too. <laughs> See? Hey, excuse me. Yo, and look, and Jamal, <laughs> Jamal, who hates friendship got, and companionship. I don't, I don't got none of that shit, y'all. Yeah, about. Jam- Jamal hates <laughs> friends. All right. There, That's crazy, man. there was a dude who worked with our. He worked in the same building as me at our last job. Listen, I didn't cool know, him, but like, we was always like coming and going from lunch at the same time. There's this uh, black dude. He seems like about my age. He's taller or whatever. But he always had like on like a uh, fly ass vapor maxes, right? And I always okay. see him. And I was like, "What up, man?" It's like that's dope, or whatever. And he works at my current job now, and I'm like, "Like, yo, like, what the fuck?" But like, why do we say that? What are you supposed this? to? What are you I supposed to say? Like, know. hey, <laughs> like, we don't want hey, you trying together. to go grab drinks after work, bro. Like, he's like, no. Hey, that's a nigga about his cool. shoes. Hey, what size? Uh, uh, would you get the? You want to go to sh- sneaker con together, fam? Like, like what are you supposed dick, to say? Nigga. Hey. <laughs> and they're just and look if some if somebody had a friend crush on Jamal and was like, hey man, like you, we kind of dress the same. I I noticed you be pulling up playing I swear Vezel. That's my shit. You try to kick it, Jamal. Be like, man, get the fuck away from me. Yeah. I, <laughs> Jamal I had got an, I got enough friends already. That's why you got pick your good. That's why you got pick your friends well when you you're got younger, like man, four so you people you forever. actually like, and I'm not sure you actually like any of us. Let me see. I feel like most Don't of my friends. I think like my main group of friends like. So You've like known you, since you were five years old. You, yeah, well, you like, grew well, up on the, the ones same that street I met, and well, shit and the ones middle that I, like, school and that aren't school. you guys. Like I've known them since like like elementary school. Like you guys are like my exactly. good friends that I met like in high school. But I'm we're known, Jamal's like, newest Mike. friends, and we've known this nigga for fifteen years. Yeah, <laughs> like, no, I, I don't really. This motherfucker's a vault. <laughs> <laughs> Jamal seems like the type of nigga that emotional vault. I stopped downloading new music after two thousand eight. Yeah, like like everybody I met from high school, like you guys, like Butta and Pat and shit, like. My my good friend that's, that I met like high school. That's it. Besides that, like that's it. I mean, like maybe how, wait, two adult how, friends after the age. I was about to say, and do you, do you meet them through your other friends that you've known forever? If Jamal, if one of your coworkers came up to you and was like, "Hey, bro, like, you trying to go grab oh, well, drinks yeah, after like, work today?" I say I'm cool with two of my coworkers from work because it's like you know, like, okay, you work okay. whatever. Like you know, we told them, "Hey, man, I know like we we used to go to the little uh little Mexican spot across the street like after work and go get drinks and shit." And, but you had yeah, to stop because you were getting too close. You started catching feelings. No, I, was, I said they the homies. Like uh, okay. one of them invited okay. me to his wedding, but it was the year I broke my wow. foot, so I didn't go. It was when wow. I broke my foot, so I didn't go. Damn, I wasn't trying to drive that far on you know, a fucking cast. <laughs> but no, yeah, those are honestly like my two last friends that I probably made. You reminded me, um, what at my at my last job, I had my Black History Month bronze on the fifteens. And this dude asked me about it. He's like, yo, them the, the Black History Month ones? And I didn't know the dude. He asked me about it. I was like, yeah, man. He was like, oh, man, those are hard. But like, we didn't go fast that because I know what else to say. Blake got butterflies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh-oh. Hey, if you, like, if you like the cut of Blake's jib, DM him. DM uh, Critically Unfocused yeah, on Twitter. Yeah. He'll see it. If you're in the North Carolina area, about 29 years old, uh, and okay with a uh, non flexible schedule due to a child, hit him up. A hey, double plus if you if you um if you golf, there should be like Tinder for friends, friender. I mean, I mean, yeah, yo, <laughs> <laughs> I've been saying grinder. I've been yeah. saying that for years because it's fucking impossible to make friends, bro. But I will yeah. say having a hobby grinder, like when I post like my bike shit, I'll get people that I never thought I'd talk to. Be like, oh, this was cool. Like, let me ask you questions about this. And it's like. Oh, let's I go get right that too. Like that. So, yeah, nice. golf, I don't post anything, so I have no idea where that actually yeah. goes. But you know, 
But it'd be hard for you because you don't you already don't know anybody down there, so you'd have to start following like random people in North Carolina. And then start. You should start going to the hood spots. Go to the little hood, little hood you after know, our spots. No, you, you. What it is out here? It's Facebook groups. Facebook is big now here in the south. Still, that makes sense. Yeah, get in, so, get you, get into a little like North Carolina Saints fans group or something like that. Go to the our, the watch party. If the Donk Racing Association didn't steal my eighty dollars, I would join their Facebook group. <laughs> fuck them forever. <laughs> what? <laughs> I forgot. It. Didn't you order a shirt and then they stabbed somebody and, and left the country? In October, still don't have yep. it. <laughs> We're probably doing so. You're shipping and number. And so did support L. black colleges. They did it too. At least, but they, they replied to my email <laughs> finally. <laughs> Damn, I feel cool. like everybody got those sweaters. That's surprising. Uh, I know, and I'm I'm not even far. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> <I'm> Atlanta. <laughs> all right, <laughs> that's all. Wow, yeah, get some WCU merch now. You, uh, so that's a good, yeah, a Liberty University H- hoodie. H- HWCUs. That just I'm wearing all funny. Ivy League shit. Historical <laughs> white college. Yeah. What if that would be hilarious? Oh, I mean, Gosh. that is the thing. Historical white colleges. That's like all the colleges that aren't HBCUs. <laughs> <laughs> they're called Literally PWIs, they Jamal. They're primarily <laughs> white institutes. <laughs> there wow. you go. That's I the nicest thing you can say. That's not a PWI. Yeah. That's the nicest thing you can say that's not whites only, basically. Yep. The Cracker Citadels. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Blake, you got any more questions before we get into the football stuff? Uh, you guys no, are not that I wrote down. Oh. I don't remember anything else. Real quick, before we do, have, you, have y'all watched this week's episode of Snowfall? No, no I'm, I think I'm, I'm two weeks behind. Oh, my God. I was, I'm just going to say, this is, the, this is the most over-the-top episode this entire series has had. Period. Bet. I'm all for it. <laughs> There's some things that happened this episode. I'm like, what show am I watching right now? What's going on? I just saw that picture of Franklin's girl feet. Oh, I didn't see a picture of her feet. Like horny verse. Horny verse. <laughs> <laughs> look at his yeah, fucking no. Look what comes in front of him. Duh, my time. Let me some funny shit on the timeline. You have a whole different was, internet than the rest duh. of us. Dog on the um, oh my God. on the timeline. It was like it was like a uh, like the clip of him and uh uh, Franklin, her laying down, and her feet long as fuck. Like uh, La Cienega feet off the Proud family. Her feet look long as fuck. <laughs> La Cienega Boulevard is. She was a yeah, good ass swimmer, too. Oh, she had I forgot feet. about that, that story angle. And that's oh, bad. Y'all ain't that watching that one? I haven't checked it out yet. I have not. I haven't seen that. That Turning Red movie they did, the uh, the Pixar one that went on there last week, mm-hmm. that shit's good. I'd be movie. forgetting to watch a lot of these. Like, I haven't seen like Animated. Girl Meets World or Raven Comes Home. I'd be forgetting about them. Like, I have no reboots and yeah, that shows. Yeah, I, the Proud Family does look like it would be good though. Nigga, when, when the <laughs> when the nothing when, good when, ever comes after when, Jamal when the girl was cooking the um the burgers on Buzzdale, and then the nigga called her Miss Corey in the house. <laughs> Dog, I have Bust, no Bust idea a, what you're talking about, but that's funny. Dog, nah, that Bust Down's a funny, funny. ass show. Freddie Gibbs is funny as shit. Dog, he is. Freddie Gibbs is a funny When they dude. found out the, that the manager was molesting everybody, <laughs> and Freddie Gibbs was like, you sick bitch. Lay down. Mm. Uh, she was like, I didn't know I worked like, with this many molested ass niggas. No, that shit had me dying. That's a funny the ass second, show. The second episode where the Asian girl beats the fuck out of the stud. <laughs> Dog, she like, whooped her ass. She said, nigga, were you in the restaurant last night? You didn't come help me? <laughs> it's like you got it under control. I never had it under control. He's like, yo, I'm I'm not some random bitch. I'm your friend. Oh, okay, shit, okay. Man. Have either of you watched the new episode of Winning Time this week? No, I haven't watched that yet. I need to watch. What that. the fuck? Okay, so have, the, I think I have to finish they, you can talk about it. I don't care. Magic right, Johnson. I, I'm gonna just Magic say Magic filthy. Johnson should not be in the N- NBA because he should have been murdered in East Lansing, Michigan. He pulls up to the basketball, oh, the basketball court, court where, where, where Cookie's court. watching her her current boyfriend hoop. He pulls up, parks the drop top bins on the on the court. I was like, I was hoping to jump in y'all game. And Cookie's boyfriend, his current wife, was like, Oh no, nah, man, we in the middle of a game. One of the niggas was like, Hey, you can take my spot, Magic. I got to go to work anyway. <laughs> That's Magic hilarious. proceeds to bust this nigga's ass, rocking the baby. And the whole time he guarded him coming down court, he's like, You know, you know Cookie want to fuck with me, right? The only reason she with your broke ass is because she's trying to make me jealous. The whole game. He dunking on him, stealing, passing the ball, steals the ball, dunk on his head, come back, talk shit. Cookie just there like, okay, well, this is weird. Magic Johnson should have been murdered. If that was yeah, 10 yeah, years yeah. later and guns were more popular, he would have been shot. Yeah, Promise it. it. If to... Cookie was with Sada, baby, Magic would be dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if she wasn't with the manager from the dollar store, but she was with a D-boy, he's out of there. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, if my he won God. a 50, boy, it would have been curtains. 
Like Magic Johnson yeah. seemed like the nicest nigga ever now, but boy, he must have been a menace back in the day. It is a dramatization, so I can see that happening though. Yeah, no, nah, they seem to make some wild on there. I need to watch this show. I need to check it out. It's it's very good. It's very I, it good. looks entertaining. It is. I think I don't know. It wasn't pulling me the first episode, but uh, I could definitely see it as a Lakers fan. Like, that would yeah, be some, that I, some gold. yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, the second episode is a little bit better. All right, y'all want to get into free Rolling. agency now, or I guess I should just say football because there's trades and other mm. whatnot too. Oh, I had uh, a bar about that. Shout out to the hat, Blake. Said. Oh, okay, give me the bar. Give it to us. Mm. <laughs> No, I don't remember. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Hold on. L. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start talking about this. Uh, the first like domino of all this past week was Tom Brady deciding after six weeks he said, "Fuck them kids. I'm coming back to play football." Was that this week? <laughs> that was yeah. Uh, I think Monday, Sunday or Monday. Damn, last week. It's been yeah. a long ass week. Yeah, it was Sunday because it was right before free agency started. He was like, "Hey, hey, hey, hey! Don't get good. Don't go get another quarterback. I'm coming." I promise I'm gonna be there. You mean I feel like he... back to play football. Well, you said that sounds kind of weird. You've got a point. You just didn't have to say it. You could have kept it to yourself. You got a point though, and I don't like it. I'm sorry. All right, all right, hold on. I got it for you, Jamal. He's like, hey, 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 I'm coming. Like, hey, excuse me. Oh, brother! <laughs> I yell neighborhood once in the lokes around. It looked like a concert if I yell rolling loud. Mm, wow! I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Hey, if if you're watching the video, he said said, he said that with the (laughs) six o Seattle Mariners hat on. Uh, Uh, Sue Surf literally said that, and that's why I got it from. Oh, okay, okay. I was gonna say, damn, he he is kind of crypt out. He got the blue North Face long sleeve. I ain't never seen him dressed like this before. No, I'm wearing this uh, because we're we're looking kind of nice. That's all I'm gonna say, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make a move, but nobody don't nobody give a fuck about baseball. Please skip this part of the story. Young boys is looking great. Julio Rodriguez is cranking shit, man. That's all I'm gonna say. Put twenty dollars on them to win the World Series. It can't hurt. It's only twenty. It's not this year. If I can do it over the next ten, twenty to win something in the next ten. When the fuck are they gonna start making the playoffs again? So I can act like I've been a fan my whole life. This year. All right, bet. What were they? One game back last year for making the playoffs, or two games back, or something like that. God damn, them dogs is loud as hell. All right, if, I can't believe they have bats since one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get this uh, baseball, bro. Free agency, right. uh, cracking. Uh, so after so, Tom Brady comes players. back, he announces he's coming back for year twenty three to play for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, Ryan Jensen then resigned. He wasn't going to resign originally, and then they resigned Carlton Davis. Uh, Carlton's nice. a wild name for a nigga born in ninety six. Like somebody's parents watched Fresh Prince and was like, Carlton's kind of a vibe. We're gonna name him that. He might be Jamaican, sir. He, I'm pretty mm. sure he is. And I think he's a, a junior that's or a, a crazy a name. Then I don't yeah, like no. it. It doesn't make any difference. Uh, mm. Anyway, then the the Tampa Bay wants a free agency open. They went and signed Russell Gage to go along with uh, Chris Godwin and uh, Mike Evans. I guess he's the Antonio Brown replacement. And then um, for some reason, New England traded us Shaq Mason, one of their starting guards, for a sixth round pick. To mm. the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Tom called in the favor. Trust the it looks process. like trust it. Okay, I see the vision. Uh, I say that the Tom Brady news is the second worst NFC South quarterback news this week for myself. <laughs> What's the What's and maybe the Matt Ryan will leave though. Uh, first worst we're going to get to later in this. Yeah, yeah. No, this this does suck for you. Like, uh, not Jameis What's... is. Uh, I just saw that he had another setback too. So. We'll see if Taysom started. What happened to him? What did my dog do? No, I'm not talking it's... about. Hey, we'll get into it. Yeah. It's the you second worst. Right. What the okay. fuck is the first NFC South QB news? Can you yes. just wait for him to get to the point? He's going to bring it up later, nigga. It's called a, a burying the weed, all right? God damn, dickhead. And he's going to try to say it before then. Just look <laughs> at him. He's just gonna... Listen, go no, don't, I'm, just I'm just thinking to don't myself. Think don't think of it. No, you're not. We know how you all behave. You're going to say it out loud. All right. All right. Anyway, uh, so with those moves, uh, with some other moves we're going to talk about later, do you guys think that the Bucks with Tom Brady are the favorite to come out the NFC no. this year? I think it's the Rams, Packers, NFC South. Okay. Okay. The Rams. They, are you think the right Rams back. are the favorite to come out? Correct. Okay. Okay. I see. It. I see the vision. We'll see how Allen Robinson looks this year. 
if he, if he looked like last year, I might be get a little spooky for the play. Look, whatever happens when they touch down in L.A., people get the juice back in them. They <laughs> break is, back. Yeah, a fact. Yeah, that's a good point. I was look. They were showing some Von Miller stats earlier today, and it was like as soon as he went to L.A., he was like first in the league in QB hurries for the last like eight weeks of the season. Like everything changed yep. for his his season. Um, off, uh, another team I'm sure helps. Another team I think made some interesting moves and just what they have coming back. But the Ravens went and signed Marcus Williams from the Saints. They gave him five years, seventy million. Nice. They nice. signed Morgan Moses from the Commanders, gave him three fifteen, and then Michael Pierce is going back. They gave him three sixteen. I feel like with those additions, I'm sure they'll still do stuff with those additions and assuming that the players that all died uh, during training camp last year come back and are healthy. I they feel like the Ravens are somehow going to be a sneaky team this year. Like they start getting yep. those people. Like their secondary looks a little bit better they, now. Look, they'll win what, eleven what and twelve sp- games. I feel like they're always going to be like. What we talked about, solid. like at, after the Super Bowl, right? Like we were saying, like where where are the Bengals next year? Like there's a very, yep. very, very real chance they do not make the playoffs, and this is why. Like, so the, <laughs> that, the next team I got, the Bengals, they kind of shored up their offensive line. They signed Alex Kappa and Ted Karras. They replaced uh, CJ Uzama with Hayden Hurst. But I see a – unless – I mean, obviously they can keep, like, growing forward. I feel like, you know, how every year there's a Super Bowl team that misses the playoffs. I feel like that's the Bengals this year. It's Super Bowl hangover. Like, over. It's going to be. If if, it, if this mother – It has to be. If, if the man – if the well, – I'm not trying to hop ahead, but if somebody <laughs> else in their division doesn't get an envelope from Roger Gardell saying they got to sit down for eight weeks or some shit. Yeah. Bengals and ain't making the playoffs, bro. Yeah. <laughs> It's spooky for them. That, <laughs> that, you go to the Super Bowl and your reward is uh, our next piece, Deshaun Watson coming to your fucking division. My uh, athletic the, the Browns. <laughs> the what did you, <laughs> wait? What? what? What did you just say? It's my athletic variant. You are disgusting. I'm just saying, that, like, if my dad left, you know, he was a single single child. You would have been whipping your meat out in front of women it's for fun. I'm saying that's my athletic variant and all the. And he wrong. did pick your number two twenty two. He stopped right there for the civil cases. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. You get the science. Talk about no, no, no to that other bitch to leave. Holy shit! <laughs> like, hey, we got something good. We'll settle with you. That's all right. hella, that's hella <laughs> massages. Well, not even like no. hella, but like hella different women. Like it's hella no, massages. it's hella massages because if you remember his his like. I'm going to get out of this was to have 21 massage therapists say we massage him and he didn't do none of the shit y'all said. He's had at least 50 massage therapists in his life at minimum. So like, nigga, I'm what, thinking what, at if, least what if he just like use a service like this, like a, like a Uber where they just like send the massager out. You don't just have like one. So it's just, oh, I, okay. That makes sense. He was DMing them on Instagram though. He wasn't using a service. He was like hitting oh, these women up directly. See, maybe someone should just <laughs> come up with a service. So you just have one. I think there's a service for that. I'm pretty sure this they seems, advertise this seems on like a failure of Texans in-house uh, personnel management. They should probably uh, uh, get massages un- for their. Players. Unfortunately, you do have a point. There should be somebody to scratch that itch. Uh, <laughs> they probably tried to hire some dudes, and he's like, "Fuck this." Okay. Uh, anyway, the Browns. <laughs> I do wonder though, like, why? Why do you got to go through all this to get someone to put a finger up your butt, like? You could just ask somebody to do that. You don't gotta like force somebody whose job is not is to do that. Do to do that. Like, hey, some niggas is weird, man, bro. Some the man's is a sexual. They only demon. like it when it's wrong. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, like, if it's normal and it's red, it's like yeah, it ain't the same. There's no thrill behind it. <laughs> There's no, yeah, there's no rush here. Yeah, you like, know, like, there are like people stealing like a that. candy bar. Like, like if your mama said, "Oh, you can get some candy from the grocery store," but when you steal that shit, that shit tastes so much better. I wouldn't know. Yeah, ne- so never did same. it. It's the same thing. Y'all never stole a candy bar, like when y'all. Uh... I was afraid of my mom. I wasn't. I, I took twenty dollars of my dad's dresser to rent Super Smash Brothers for N sixty four, and uh, it it wasn't any more fun to play because I got Shit. in trouble. Nigga, I used to steal Nestle Crunch from Mega Foods all the time. I'd be with my mom at grocery shopping. I Jamal was my the privileged kid quick. who just stole for fun. He wanted to live the struggle. That should be so damn good. Like damn, hey, stolen cookies taste better. good though. I ain't gonna lie about that. Yeah. So think about well, it. Like, we did you know, like, steal from Fred Like if the yeah. massage if the massage shit look good and you're not <laughs> supposed to get like the little tub, but like yo, you get one, you're like, oh man, that nut was fire. It was way better than if she just gave it to me consensually. I'm just saying if you're like a creepy nigga like that though. I'm saying that's probably how he thinks. <laughs> I can't wait till our clip show is up. 
think about it though. Like that's probably what he was thinking. Mm-hmm. Like yo, like this this is wrong, but like yo, it's a thrill to it. That's why people like do bad shit. If mine was telling him no, but if mine... <laughs> If there's ever somebody who can make a justification for anything freaky, <laughs> it's the fucking creator of the horny verse. I'm just telling you, that's probably what he was thinking. Like, he's yeah. no, you're saying probably you said yo, he's but they your were sexual, saying, like, you said yo, he's but, your athletic variant, and you got the whole like you know exactly what he was thinking because you would do I'm this just, if you were an athlete. You would do, you do think, this. How do you think people catch like serial killers? Like yo, detectives got to put them, themselves in the mind of a serial killer, bro. There's a Netflix show on it, catch a serial killer. You gotta think about it though. Like you, you gotta think about from their perspective. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I don't know. Man. Like yo, I if know. I was a crazy nigga, what would I do? All right, bet. <laughs> okay. Oh, are we still talking about the Bengals? Or are we talking about the Browns? I was hoping we could talk about the Browns. We're talking about the wrong kind of Brown at this point. Um, Honestly, so I mean, with Amari Cooper, Deshaun Watson, uh, Jakeem Grant, like, uh, oh, they what are we looking at here. I mean, still got the running backs, right? Yeah, they got. They yeah, but they didn't have to. So, so any anyway, people's Jones shut up, there. Shakur. <laughs> so, <laughs> the Browns traded for Deshaun Watson on Friday. They gave up a 2022, 2023, and 2024 first round pick. Gave up a 2023 third round pick and a 2020, 2024 fourth round pick, and they got back a fifth round pick, which I believe is next year. Um, so they didn't give up any players. They just gave up pretty much yeah the next three first round picks, and they and still some, got hella some, picks, some late mm-hmm. picks. They got plenty of picks. They immediately signed Deshaun Watson to a five-year, $230 million fully guaranteed contract. That's uh, insane. And I know that they were, say- they were saying that they're planning on structuring his first-year deal to where basically if he gets suspended, it doesn't hurt. It's only one million. Capital. Or, exactly. Yeah. Everything no, else no, is no, like I think it's, five, it's, it's thousands of dollars. It's, I think it's like $55,000. Some, something Holy shit. Low. Incredible. Dog, this nigga how much he can better get than OJ, bro. This nigga finessed the system. It's crazy. <laughs> he, uh, he really did, though. Like this nigga's a legend. He, he really did. He, like nasty he turns, aside, like bro, like he's getting over. It's crazy. Yeah, like, I like see that people get over. That's like, an extension. Uh, that's not a like. Um, that's not like a new deal. Like that's on top of the big ass contract he signed last year that he played one year of and said, "I don't want to play here anymore." And exactly. Out. And then all this hey, stuff came out afterwards. I will say this. Uh, <laughs> Deshaun, Deshaun Watson shares an agent with Earl Thomas, and you know what Earl Thomas got out the league for being nasty. His his agent is a little suspect nasty, in my bro. eyes, man. Duh, that's that's so trash, man. He got he got dealt a raw hand. This nigga was just fucking raw hoes with his brother. Like, bro, he, dog, like him and his really brother had the forbidden threesome. I, I don't think he got dealt the bad hand. There. And his yeah, wife came with a wrong. pistol and pistol whipped him. No, they definitely wasn't using no damn cunt. I didn't want to go no, down that. No. I didn't want to go down that hole. I just yeah. was mentioning that nah. they share an agent. <laughs> hey, yeah, why are you talking about holes, nigga? <laughs> exactly. All right, yeah. So how about that Amari Cooper trade, though? I mean, I, I gotta yeah. like the value on that. Really, like you just yeah. basically give him a fifth round draft pick and swap six rounders. Yeah. Um, his and they, no guaranteed money up there until they restructured it. Now, now he has some, but they lowered his yeah. cap hit. Um, I do like that. That's very good value for. You know, he he's he's been down a bit. Quite a when bit, he's healthy, but, uh, he's a top fifteen receiver. Like he's good, so for I'm sure. And they got him for pretty for sure. cheap, you know. Yeah, especially yeah. current price of receivers. And having he's never had a quarterback as uh, good as Deshaun. Not that he's had bad quarterbacks, but he's never had a good as good a quarterback as Deshaun. What are you laughing at, Blake? <laughs> oh, nothing, man. No, Blake's my nigga, man. He's an idiot. But, uh, <laughs> uh, nah, hey, they finna be nice, oh, man. That often, dude. They got like they gonna have a good old line. They got two talented tight ends. They got. I'm yeah, interested Joku. to see what else they do at quarter uh, receiver. And Joku's okay. They got people Jones out there what, too, man. They, no, I mean, what's the okay. other tight end? The okay. white dude. The white they dude don't they have the Falcons. Receiver. They just cut him. They just cut Austin. Oh, Hooper, Hooper. Yeah, Hooper out of there. Yeah, oh, dude, done. I fucked with Austin Hooper. Mm-hmm. Browns fans did not. I learned as soon as they cut him that they did not wow. fuck with him. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, no, that offense should be crazy. Their offensive line is basically, everybody's back. Like that whole roster's back. And they just increased their quarterback, if you ask me, by 100%. So, Kareem Hunt just plays slot now. Who does? Kareem Hunt just plays in the slot now. Huh? I can see it. God damn, they have a, a nasty I team. saw some something, some crazy stat. I think, like, Deshaun Watson has, like, the highest QB rating of any quarterback with a minimum of 1,500 attempts or something like that. Sounds right. He's pretty no, fucking good. He's lethal. Um, no, yeah, like nasty. Nastiness aside, aside. Like, that nigga's, that nigga's yeah. good at football. It so is it, it, him taking a year off and like really only being negatively 
like it, it's only been negative news about him, you can easily forget how fucking nice yeah. he was. Thought his like, last thought season, like I think he led the league in passing yards and like QBR or something like that. Sounds right, and th- they won four games, I think. In yeah, the yeah, that's what I was talking about. The second worst NFC South QB news this week was the fact yeah. that he didn't want to come to us. It oh. could have been worse because he could have went to Atlanta. That would. I thought horrible. you were talking about the the rumors with uh the Saints maybe getting uh Baker Mayfield. That's what I thought you were talking about. Oh no, uh, I can live through that. I mean, last no. year, <laughs> no, you can't. That's gonna be that's gonna be <laughs> fucking hilarious. If if you we're, Baker we're, plays good every other year, so I don't know, we'll get the good one. Even I find a way to make you hate it. <laughs> it, it you just have to wait till the next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the Browns look disgusting as a team. I think they. Also, now that they've restructured uh, Amari's deal, they'll have money to bring Jadavion Clowney back, which I'm assuming is why he hasn't signed anywhere else. So he could be back and there Jarvis next year. Too, I, unless, I don't know where Jarvis I is. Don't, we'll see. Oh, yeah, I guess they cut him. and They've talked about him going. To, I guess the plan was for Jarvis Landry and Leonard Fournette to join Matt Ryan, or not Matt Ryan, Deshaun Watson in Atlanta. If that's where he was going to go. Obviously, he's not. So Lenny's going back to Tampa. So yeah, maybe... Uh, I'd, Jarvis I'd, doesn't have that much of a market. I'd go to Green Bay if I'm Jarvis, man, because he, he made Randall Cobb Bay. pop last year. So you oh, yeah. Randall Cobb, he, Ooh, and get his value he, he back up. up. Yeah, I could yeah. say he signed a one year deal there. He's getting you want to in Green Bay. Year. You might get like 85 catches or something, and then go go you get some money. Or something. Else. There's plenty of catches to be had out there. I, I'm uh, saying you this know from one a of the long name ass dudes going to pop. Shakur mentioned, "Do you want to live in Green Bay?" And as a person who's never been a professional athlete. So I, I'm speaking from what I think I would feel. I don't think I think that the do you want to live in X place is probably overrated. Like if you're mm-hmm. Jarvis Landry and the situation calls for you to have the best quarterback in the league, you're getting paid and you're going to be the number one option. You could put me on the fucking moon. Like that sounds like I'm going to no, get. But a lot you're going to be rich regardless. So it's, it's like I might as well like live somewhere where it's like nicer weather and there's hoes there. You would but definitely so, rather live in L. A. than Green Bay. I mean, I'd yeah, rather yeah, live in L. A. I, I, there's a difference between rather and like, what am I going to do though? Like, if but the you're saying close, like, you, if you're talking about you right now, put me anywhere to be a professional athlete. I'll take that. But I'm saying, if yeah, I have I'm saying, I'm not, LA, I'm saying if Vegas. I'm in, if I'm in Jarvis's situation, am I going, okay, let me go be option three on the Rams or chargers and take no money. Or do I go be the guy in green Bay, get paid, play with the best quarterback and boost my value. I feel like, he, I it don't think if he's making that he decision, career, he's like, like how he looks yeah, for sure. For sure. What you want. I just, he's already made I don't, money. I don't think in a situation like that he's like, well, t- this is a great situation, but damn, it'd be kind of cold up there. Like, I'm like, like, sure. really could go to Vegas and be what the third option there would be. Uh, Adams, the fourth right option in. there. Well, Waller? Uh, yeah, I guess the, obviously Waller. Yeah, but yeah, uh, I'm saying I third at wide receiver. Sure. If he goes to, if he was to go to Vegas, he would play. 40 percent of the snaps at the most i'm sure unless they're just like running it four way england and be number two probably up there i don't know yeah we'll see i I could see him going back to the browns though because yeah him and amari together could be a nasty combo with the and that running game probably wouldn't get paid much but um what else i there was some another team the broncos Uh, made wrap up the afc north for you real quick oh sure yeah you just did two of them uh Steelers have they've solidified their quarterback competition, I would say. Um with Dwayne Haskins and Mr. Trubisky probably going to be in a camp battle for the starter. Let's go. I feel like Mitch is gonna win. I feel like Mitch is gonna win that easily. I don't I think, think so. I don't think easily, brother. I do. Uh, Mitt, Dwayne Haskins has never played football as good as Mr. Trubisky has inside the NFL. Mm-mm. Never. And it's not really even close. At all. Not even uh, <laughs> They got Miles Jack before two year deal. I I was rooting for uh, Dwayne Haskins from the draft, and he's proven me wrong every single time. <laughs> on on and off the field. Yeah. What do you do off the field? Terrible. Oh, I forgot. He's a victim of domestic violence, and we don't take that seriously in the black community when it comes to our. No, men. and he sent that. out jersey shirts, which is a felony in itself. You don't do that. That's shit. what I was. That's money. what I was talking about. Uh, and or, or the texting during pregame, which was fucking nuts. Nigga was on TikTok yeah. during pregame warm ups. Oh, now he's Juju Smith Schuster. That's crazy. All right, basically, there, there, there's without a bunch the of other Steelers transactions here, but none of these people I think are very important. I mean, James. They Andy released Joe Schobert. Kind of three year deal. Joe they did, Schobert? and they re- replaced him with another Jags linebacker and got Miles Jack, like Blake said. They yeah. also got three new offensive linemen who they paid pretty good money to. So they're rebuilding that yeah, O line. Chuck Wuma Oko Fur. Yes, I don't know James Daniels and Mason Cole. 
Got some money though. Yeah, all got cashed out. Yeah. So all right. as, as a playoff team, they didn't get worse. That's really all you kind of hope for year to year. They're probably that's where I thought almost no shot. I think. I th- oh, I Mariota's still out there though, so I would be interested. I thought they to see don't keep their tradition going. Hmm. Mariota, I feel like is going to have this like interesting career arc where he goes to like. I don't know. Somewhere Mariota's bad never going to be like, fucking good, good again, dude. Could, could he be good enough to win that camp battle, though? No. He can't throw the ball past 20 yards anymore. After he had that elbow injury with, like, nerve damage or something, dude, his his arm strength fucking stays. When's the last time you seen him try to throw that ball, though? Maybe like I years, think ago? I had, years ago. Right, when he came in for Derek Carr when he was hurt. Um, they do a he lot. He had a nice arm when he first came into the league, but, like, it's definitely, like, decreased since he's been in play after that elbow injury. Like, Andy sure, Dalton, like, Ryan Fitzpatrick, both also available. I imagine Ryan, Ryan Fitzpatrick need to retire. He like broke his hip last season. Like you're 40, Gosh, dog. Geez. Give it up. Yeah, Pokey, uh, old Chad Uchina Pinto. Nuosu from the Chargers broke his hip game one. Just wow. give it up. Give it up. And James also free. I guess still. Fuck. Yeah, it sounds like he's planning on coming back to y'all. Right. Uh, do you guys want to just do this by division? You guys have any teams you guys want to specifically talk about next? We could talk about the Jags. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got AFC South right here. Cool. Bet. Let's do that one. Let's start with the Jags. Before we say, any, do this say anything, Shakur, how do you feel about y'all signing? Like, how are you feeling as a Jags fan about what you guys did in the uh, beginning of free agency? Shit, like, if you got cap space, you got to use it. And like, I know everybody's trying to, a bunch of fucking idiots, and, oh, oh, oh you guys are spending all this money, you're going to suck. Nigga, Christian Kirk got this such and such. Like, all right, you fucking idiots. Like, it's low hanging fruit. Uh, criticize every fucking move we make, but like, yo, man, when your team is ass and your shit, you gotta overpay to get niggas to come to your team, bro. That's what free agency is. Like, niggas want to get money. It's like, oh well, if you guys pay me more, like, I'm gonna come there. So I get it. Like, yeah, like the Christian Kirk deals a lot, but like, he's only 25. He's a decent option. Like, he's he's not bad. And plus, like, the, what didn't the salary cap jump like nine million dollars? Like, I know the salary cap went up in the NFL, so it's just like remember, it did. like I think the, it was nine or ten. Yeah, like, I remember when the NBA salary cap jumped, like, yo, we seen niggas that suck get bagged. So it's like, yo, something like, when when team salary cap jumps like that for the CBA stuff, like, people get paid, bro. And it's not my fucking but money, so I don't give a fuck. Do you, like, you want to be, do you want to be the team that's overpaying the, yo, the nigga who's See, see that's the thing, though, why it's different from NBA. You can get out of NFL contracts, bro. Like, it's not like sure, the NBA, like, sure. when you're stuck with deals, like, yo, like, like, yo, niggas sign bad deals in the NFL, like, damn, we got this nigga for six years, eight. 89 million and it doesn't really stop got released eight months later bro like it's like yeah. you can get out of that shit easy and like yo we, we we talk about it all the time like yo like cap hell is not real in the nfl bro that's why i'm not, not really tripping sure. about it so it's like it like, is i do like some of the signings, it is though. it is real because i mean eventually you do have to pay the money that you can subvert yourself out of in cap hell it's yeah. not like it just disappears it doesn't disappear and I guess but like you can we'll talk about that around when we get to and, the like, saints yeah yeah i'm thinking like i feel like like, like the saints they said like, i remember the saints had, what was that one year? Weren't the Saints like like seventy this million? Year. And like that was this year. Was it this and year? Now that they have yeah. thirty million. It's not like we don't. Yeah. We still have to pay it. We just don't. We're not paying it right now. Yeah, yeah like you can. Yeah, like I don't know. It's, it's not our money. But like as, so far as like the players we've signed, I don't mind it. Like I know the uh, the linebacker, the linebacker from Atlanta. Like, I guess he's athletic and like good in coverage, and he's African, so it's a bump. You know, three years forty five is is a, is a number. For sure. Yeah, you know, and he, he's African, so I'm going to go out on limits. I think he's going to be good in the all timer. Sure. Okay. And I thought the uh, the the Futakasi dude. I thought that was a Samoan name when I first seen it. I seen him. He's African too, so you really got my approval. So we're two for two now. <laughs> okay. Showing so, up the middle of the defense with Africans. I like two that. A's, two A's in my opinion. Uh, okay. Christian Kirk is okay. I did like Christian Kirk at Texas A and M in college, and I think he's all right. I think he's like. His peak, he should be like a good number two, but on like a good team, he's probably like a number three. Yeah, but the comp I made—he's been paid like a number one earlier this week. Was I? I have him in that in the like whatever tier you have, Mike Williams and Michael Gallup in. I feel like Christian Kirk is in that tier. I feel like I think he's that. a little bit. I, their maybe. numbers are the exactly the same almost. Oh yeah, all right, hey, fuck it, all right, hey, like, thanks for making my and case. Like, Chris Godwin is in that tier, but I think he's by far Chris, the best of Chris, them, I'd say. Um, Chris Godwin, but Christian yeah. Kirk got the most money of the four, three other people. Sometimes it's just about being a free agent at the right time. 
Absolutely. And being yeah, thirsty. Absolutely. Like it happens. So I yeah. My most like, the most interesting thing with him for me was you know how like they always say like, oh, this person got paid and they set the market. Yeah. I, the Christian Kirk deal was so crazy that it didn't affect the market. Everybody looked at that and was like, oh shit. <laughs> okay, we'll keep negotiating with our guy over here. He's not getting that much money. Like that yeah. it seems like the other GMs are probably like, that's a bad deal. But there's a chance if he plays up to it, like, you know. Yeah, and like I, I don't know. Just... And also, you guys did lose uh, DJ Chark, who I don't one year. I don't know million. if he's better than Christian Kirk, but yeah, he got one year, twelve million. Yeah. Would you rather have given that than Christian Kirk's deal? Or are you cool I with the Kirk? Deal? I did want us to give him like a one year deal, like a prove it deal, like one year, like yeah. prove it kind of year for him. But like, there's one year, ten million. Oh, okay, I, was, I thought it was like twelve, but I if we not... if we only going to go for ten million, like fuck, I, I'm cool giving him ten, twelve million. But yeah, he's out of there and. Then, Cause I feel like, I feel like he's not like a one. He's like a low end one. So like, if he's your number one, you okay. But you're definitely looking to upgrade. But I feel like he could be like a cool number one. Like he would be like a between like in receivers, he would be between like his peak. I feel like between that fifteen and like twenty range. But I don't know. The signage is cool. Like I don't mind it. Like I feel like we we definitely sure up the line. I'm I'm just happy we got Brandon Scherf. That's probably my favorite move. Oh, then we have the Tyrell. You just got bigger on my screen. Yeah, I don't know. His connection dropped. Niggas internet is ass. But you know, like uh, we we spend a hell of money. Yeah, y'all y'all <laughs> y'all do anything. <laughs> oh hey, man. man. Nigga suck, bro. Like you gotta spend money to get some good some good players in. I don't I don't know what you want them to do. I would say trade trade picks, man, because like if if you could get Amari Cooper for a fifth round draft pick, that means y'all probably would have got it for a six because your pick's probably better than uh, Cleveland's. But yeah, no. So I the thing with them was I think like they're they're willing to pay more of his salary in that trade. That's what I read was like the big thing with the him going to Cleveland. Even then, though, if you guys would have paid the twenty million, with oh yeah, nothing, hey, none hey. of it guaranteed. That means if you hey. sucked after this year, you just cut him. Hey, I was willing to do it. But it's not my yeah. money. And then even like I mean, we talked about like uh Jarvis Landry still being available like, and out there. Um I don't know. It just seems like I don't maybe they something in the front office makes them really love Christian Kirk. I just don't know why you pick him to be that guy and then Man. to to then do all that on top of it. Like Will Fuller still available, uh Jamison Crowder, Marquez Valdez Valda Scantling, because you know Green Bay really can't throw the bag around to get him back. He's been productive. Like, um, Valdez take a chance them? on these guys while Her? you already have, like, um, even like, yeah, bring back Chark and take a chance on some of these younger guys to see, like, what they turn into rather than, like, give Dude, this Christian guy Kirk's only like, like 25, though. He's still you know? pretty young. I know, but I'm saying we said Christian Kirk, yeah, he's only 25. I thought he was older. Oh, I, I understand reason. that, but like, the, the the deal is like when he like he's established already, you know, and it's like, yeah, no, for if, sure. Let, let's say, let's say, like, because last year was the absolute hell and turmoil, right? For, for yes. the, um, for the, the Jaguars. Yes. Um, Trevor could never get on stable footing. And then everything around him was always in flux as well. But now we have stability going into year two of his of his run. And he's supposed to be this guy who's like this generational talent. And if he turns out to be that and we see like a um, like a Joe Burrow type type run from him this next year, it would really suck to be held back from in space because we chose to pay all this money just because we had it to spend this year. You know, oh, yeah, for like, sure. I don't know. But if, it's, if things go perfect, they'll find a way to figure that shit out. That's why them people get paid millions of dollars to do all that cap shit. I just want to cheer for a respectful product on the field. Yeah, niggas, niggas have won four games in two years, six and three. So it's just yeah, it, it's just very interesting, man. Like I, that's a like, I like Brandon Sheriff as a player too. It's an interior lineman. That's a whole lot of fucking money for that. It's not a tackle. It's an interior lineman. Like. Levels of play there can can be good for a lot less, um, but it's um, I, yeah. I, I just I I hope that doesn't become an issue down the line. Like, you know what? I'm worried about the short term. I want to see some immediate wins and some turnaround. I'm I not worried you. about a couple years from now. Niggas suck, bro. Yeah, niggas is trash. Right, um, let's go to the next team in AFC South. Well, y'all, damn, yeah, damn, time is flying. Um, Texans did a whole lot of fucking moves. None of this shit matters besides getting rid of Deshaun Watson. Um, yeah, they got a good haul of picks, man. Like they, it's gonna be interesting yeah. what they do. They definitely they gonna probably. I think they Jeff probably try Driscoll. to. Get, 
what what pick? I think they they probably drop a tackle on one of their first picks, and they probably gonna try to. They might like Davis Mills and see if he's the guy. Played well last year. It's probably uh think was he the best rookie last year? It was either him or the think- nigga from uh the Patriots, Mac Jones. Oh yeah, it was Mac Jones. I think it was Mac Jones. Um, then him, right? Then Zach Wilson. Then Davis Mills. I thought Davis Mills was putting up better numbers than uh Zach Wilson. I swear Zach Wilson was turning over hella too. He was. Zach Wilson finished better than he started, and I think uh-huh. that's why he passed Davis Mills. Uh, NFL. Damn, Mock uh, draft. They have them taking Akim Ekwanu from NC State. And, okay, the tackle. And, yeah. Okay, uh, he's yeah, a tackle or interior. That's what they have listed. They have listed as both. Yeah. And then Malik Willis jumped all the way to six. Good lord. Yeah, I was saying that. I don't think. What a combine. That's why you do them drills. God damn. All right. Um, the time you just traded for Robert Woods. Yep, that was today. Yep. Uh, yep. They signed Austin Hooper to a one year, $6 million deal as well. Uh, Jeff Schwaim, I don't know who that is. Um, so that my man, so Harold funny. Landry, got five years, $87.5 million, $52 million guaranteed. God, dude, he got paid. Jesus Christ. Yep. Buster Scrine uh, came to, went back to the team on a contract, I believe, and Morgan. Damn. Cox. That's the corner, right? Yep. I feel like he's been in the league a minute. Yeah. Um, did he play for Cleveland? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I definitely don't Colts, know. Colts uh, re-signed Mo Ali Cox, three years, $18 million. Um, They traded for Yannick in Gakwe. Yes, sir. Uh, and, oh, they sent out Rocky Sin for that. Um, Zaire Franklin re-signed. And the rest of these guys are... A lot smaller money, so. Oh, and Gakwe's played for like five teams in like the last three years, man. He can, he can pass around like an IG model. It's crazy. Nasty business. Yeah, yeah, because um, he from us, he went to Baltimore, then he went to the Vikings, then he went to Oakland, in Minnesota. Yep, and then yeah, now he's on the uh, on the Colts. Damn yep. man, now I gotta yep. hate one of my favorite players. Denver, Denver Broncos. Um. Big big splash, one of the bigger splashes of this week, trading for Russell Wilson. Um <coughs> sent out Drew Locke, no offense, Shelby Harris, some picks. Um I don't know, that's a it's a tremendous move, man. Um the, the, that division is spooky though, so now it's kind of just hard to say exactly what that means, but Russell Wilson at his best is is um he's a top five quarterback. Is. He's in the he's yeah he's in that top tier if not the sec the tier right after it, the top of that tier for sure um, as lead as they come and they have talent out there on offense for him to use so um I'm very curious what that looks like that that could be a Madden team for you boy I've always like kind of favored the Broncos on Madden a little bit so it's looking it's looking up yeah yeah this is Buster Screen he's played for he's been in the he got drafted in 2011 yeah he's played with the Browns Jets Bears. 49ers and uh, Titans are now. Oh, damn, he's the league. Damn. Um, we're doing we're doing the spooky AFC West right now. Um, Best division of football, probably. Yeah, yeah. I think I think it's safe to say. I don't yeah. know what else would even be close. Um, off the top of my Chiefs head, I can't think right now. Resigned Chad Henney, former Jack. Um, signed Juju Smith Schuster. So look out for him and Jackson to be tearing it up on the TikTok. Um, oh God. Orlando Brown got franchise tag. Frank Clark, two years, twenty nine million dealer, max value of thirty six million dollars with incentives. Uh, so brought him back, and then Justin Reed, three years, thirty one point five million dollars, taking the place of Honey Badger out there. So I, I mean, I still, I think the Chiefs are probably, they're probably still gonna be the favorite in the they AFC when, this, when free agency started. But at the same time, it's like they're still a really good team. Yeah, I probably still like them as like the favorite to come out of the AFC still. Just because you feel like they got it the most figured out as a team, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I don't see the decline from them that I could like see potentially in uh in um the Bengals. Would would the Matt Ryan Colts pass them for you by chance or no? No, hmm. but the Colts would be definitely be, be good with Matt Ryan. Yeah, I feel like Matt Ryan's kind of tricky though. Like I'm sure his numbers at the end of the year looked fine, but I feel like there were some games where he looked fucking terrible to me. And then, like, you look at his stats, and I'm like, oh, dang, he's like, he doing all right out there still. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, the Raiders. Uh, who no one cares about Amir Abdullah. No one cares about Brandon Bolden. Devontae Adams. That's the that's the shit to talk about. They picked that's him crazy. up. They re- yeah reunited the Fresno State boys. Uh, expected to sign a new contract with the Raiders worth 141.25 million over five years. Average value 28.25 million. Biggest deal for a non quarterback in NFL history. Big money. He got cashed out. He about to have JC yes. Jackson in hell. Man, uh, paid Max Turner. Crosby too. Got him. What'd you say? I said, nah, he ain't even to have JC Jackson in hell. Yes, he is. It's Max Crosby, he- four years. Ninety-eight yeah. point nine eight million, ninety-five million in new money, fifty-three million guaranteed. Chandler Jones also uh, signed a deal, roughly fifty-two point two five million over three years. Good lord, that's a lot of money over three years, including <coughs> thirty-four million guaranteed. Uh, Bilal mm-hmm. Nichols in the middle out there, also two years, eleven million. Nine million pass rushers, man, you got to pay them, man. They important. You need pass that, rushers, that, man. I would hate to be in that division. Oh yeah, for sure. Damn, they they don't got a good because they got rid of Ngakwe and they cut uh our Kyrell's favorite player Carl Nassib. So I wonder what they're gonna do with their third uh, pass rusher now. Oh my god! Yeah, he didn't make the cut. Hold no. on, you think anybody picks him up? Is he productive? I don't know. Think he gets some celebrity privilege? Yeah, you think he's gonna get the Michael Sam treatment where nobody just gonna fuck with him? No, I'm still mad about Michael Sam. That's fucked up. You don't you don't get defensive player of the year in the SEC and just can't play in the league. I don't know what that was about. Well, I do know what that was about, but I don't know why they did that to him. Like, <laughs> well, I, I, the only reason why I don't think that is because he really went to the, the Rams, and that was like a terrible spot for him to go to. So people sit. Yeah, that's true. Honestly, I don't know why it didn't work out. Maybe he just wasn't. You definitely think it's because he was gay and people weren't fucking with him? Yes. You think that's it for real? <laughs> Oh, I can see it, honestly. Defensive honest. player of the year in the SEC, a pass rusher. <laughs> well, when you say it you, like that. You can't stay on a roster? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Yeah, and it's not like he's playing. He's playing against the good teams, too, with, like, shit probably next to him, too. And he's yes. Pre- yeah. He's on Missouri. Ain't nobody opening shit up for him. <laughs> God damn. Okay, yeah, no, you got it. Yeah, he definitely. He, yeah, wow. That's crazy. It's fucking yeah. Deacon Jones just couldn't play because he liked men. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Shout out to him. Hope he's doing well. Yeah, man. God damn, I'd be sick as hell if I was man. Nah, I never I thought of it like that, it. but you're perfectly right. Like you're, that's exactly what it was. This, this ain't Jason Collins where he's a fucking bum and maybe got it an extra year because one one shit got timed. But like, yeah, no, this this was a player. He was nice. <laughs> what if he was just beasting in practice too? Like and Robert oh, Quinn and Aaron Donald's like, hey, man, this. This nigga's nice. <laughs> he he taught Aaron Donald how to do the bull rush. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Like, yeah, actually, I picked that up from Big Mike, man. He taught me all that shit. <laughs> oh, this dude's oh working God. at fucking Kroger now or a Publix. Lifetime Fitness. Um, Chargers uh, gave Mike Williams three years, sixty million, uh, forty million guaranteed over the first two years. Um, what's this? Sebastian JC Joseph Jax. Day. Who the hell is that? A uh, defensive lineman. I don't uh, know who the hell that is. Tyrell Tyrell mentioned him by name and said he wanted him. I hadn't heard of him either. Uh, three years, twenty four million dollar deal, fifteen million guaranteed. Khalil okay. Mack. We already talked about that in the trade. Uh, J C Jackson. That was the big news. Seen as probably the best man coverage corner in football. Uh, five year, eighty two five eighty two point five million dollar deal, forty million guaranteed. Because you really need weapons in this division, so everyone's kind of just tooling up to. You gotta load up. That's gonna be a fun yeah. ass division. All those games are gonna be good every week. They're go- yeah, one of them's gonna be on primetime. Whenever, whenever they play those division games, they're gonna be on primetime. Or not primetime, like the national game. Shit, that division what probably has what four top fifteen, top twelve quarterbacks in the league. Yes, if if you are someone who's not fighting for your job, you're a top fifteen quarterback. Okay, so yeah, they definitely got. Yeah, I'd say top twelve. Um, yeah, if, and like Carl would be in like top... that ten to twelve range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got you. And we may look at him higher after this year, honestly. So we'll see. Damn, 
I Wal- was yeah, disgusted over the there. chemistry he had last year with Renfro, and then you you add in. Uh, I'd imagine he's locked in with with Devontae Adams and Waller's gonna be back at healthy. Like, could look kind of scary. Yeah, that shit could be crazy. Oh well. Yep. Damn, Chargers might be on pack watch next year. It's crazy. I'm telling, it's about to, we're about to see a twelve win team miss the playoffs. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> Damn, that um, was his internet was straight. I know that's ass. Bomb. Um, Cowboys got Michael Gallup back five years, fifty seven point. Five million. Um, Demarcus Good. Lawrence, three years, forty million, thirty million guaranteed. Dante Fowler came in as a free agent. I think he was in, he was in uh, Miami last year, wasn't he? He like got like he was second place in sex. Who? Dante Fowler. He was second place in sex. I'm almost positive. Nigga, hell no. I Who Miami saying... have as a pass rusher last year? Well, I know they got that that rookie from Miami, something Phillips. But you said he no, finished second no, no, in sacks no. in the okay, league last year. On. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. My bad. He's. I got it mixed up with someone else. But Miami had a, the second leading pass rusher in the league last year. Who the hell is their pass rusher? Right? I know they got that Phillips dude from You're University of Miami. Know the name as soon as I say it. Probably. Okay, I lied. I'm trying to think. Was like, it the year before? Oh no, no. What am I looking at? This guy. Well, um, <laughs> who am I thinking of? Somebody, oh my, are you serious? Bro, I don't know who the fuck you're thinking of. Man, this is rigged. All right. Oh, Robert Quinn, that's who I was thinking of. Robert Quinn played in Miami at some point, but he's in, he was in Chicago last year. Yeah, yeah, he, he was, was number Chicago. two. Yeah. Didn't he play in Miami? He did in 2018. Yep, and he had six and a half sacks there. It's like, okay. Um. <laughs> All right, what's the next team in the division? Uh, the Giants, which I don't, I mean, they gave uh, Tyrod Taylor two years, $11 million. That's a good backup. Next, it, he might be in a camp battle, bro. <laughs> Um, like right now is Daniel is Daniel J- Daniel Jones's job to lose for sure. They got to see like, because I know like their GM and their coach said we haven't done right by him and we got to put him in place to succeed. I'm I'm curious what they're gonna do with their draft picks because they got like what the fifth and the ninth pick or I know they got two top ten picks like pretty close to each other too. Yeah, and I just so, closed my tankathon. Okay, Eagles. Um, they got Fletcher Cox back after it looked like he was gone. Uh, Hassan Riddick, three year, forty five million dollar deal. I like that deal. I like Hassan yeah. Riddick. Um, rest of these guys, I don't really know them. Boston Scott, it's cool. It's, he got uh, some pennies. He's running back. Some pennies. That's funny. Yep. Washington Commanders picked up Carson Wentz, so he makes his return to the NFC East. Um, they're gonna suck. Hey man, Wentz isn't. I don't know what it is with him because, like, man, you look at his numbers. I feel like he plays fine. Like, he was playing good. Like, he folded. He yeah, folded. He, those last two weeks, yeah, he played like shit. He just folded. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know if it's like a, what you need him, you can't rely on him, or confidence thing with him, but he clearly has the ability. Like, dude, like that year before he got hurt when they were going to the Super Bowl, he was, it was looking like, yo, Carson Wentz about to be like a top three, top five guy for us, like, some time because he was clearly yeah. the MVP that year. Like when yeah, they were when going, he got hurt, you talking about right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. then they, then he lost it. Cause dude, he yep. that, he was looking like he was playing like magical that year. Like he looked fucking impressive. It's been a while since then. He ain't looked like that since. Yeah, no, and that was that was twenty seventeen. Yes. Yeah. So goddamn, yeah, five years ago. Goddamn, time flies, bro. Holy shit! It's like four Kanye albums ago. Wow. Yeah. And you think yeah. about it, it might be right. I think Yay, Jesus is King. Uh. Donda, Donda 2. Damn. Okay, yeah, you're right. Kids see Ghost too. That's more than that. So, yeah. That's the Cuddy one with him and Cuddy, right? Mm-hmm. They're not cool no more, right? I uh, no, I believe Cuddy called Kanye a dinosaur. So, I believe they're off. He sided with Skeet Davidson. Um, <laughs> Chicago Bears. They A um, little bit quiet over there besides sending out Khalil Mack looks like uh, two years, $12 million to Justin Jones. 
Physical and they signed Ogan cool. Joby, right? I think I think they just it's signed. It's not him. on this. And if they did, um and he's like a guard. Equimania St. Brown signed out there. Ooh, okay. Name alert, yeah. fire name alert. Yeah, so now I mean he stayed in the same division as his brother. It's important. Um, yeah. Byron Byron Pringle, who oh, he's pretty fast. He was a, he was on the Chiefs, I believe, I think. Yeah, yeah, that was him. Yeah, I remember. Yep. Yeah, she's uh, having all the fast Lions. Things. I think their biggest signing here is gotta uh, be Chark, right? It's Chark and Charles Harris, yeah. Uh Chark with the one year ten million dollar deal is fully guaranteed, which is always swaggy when all your money is guaranteed. Right. That's fire. It is. Yep. Um Charles Harris, uh two year fourteen million dollar deal. And yeah. Oh of Tracy Walker, three year twenty five million dollar deal. I played a franchise with the Lions on Madden, like I think it was my second longest running one. Uh Tracy Walker was okay. I remember you telling that was one you was doing on your PC, right? Oh uh, no, no, I did that on PS5. I haven't bought Madden on PC since I got a PS5, just because oh, they, it's always the last, um, is last gen's version still. Oh, okay, I don't know. That. Yep, I don't know why they do it that way. Aaron Rodgers, uh, obviously back in Green Bay, signed an extension that pays 150 million over the next three years, 101 million fully guaranteed. Um, <clears throat> Devondre Campbell, five years, 50 million dollars. Preston Smith, four-year extension worth $52 million. And obviously the loss of Devontae Adams. Kirk Cousins got more fucking money. Signed a one-year, $35 million, fully guaranteed extension. That puts him under contract through 2023. Um, I think he's made like $239 million yeah, over two, at this, yep, over at this point. And he has like a, a 59 and 59 record in like, I think, two playoff wins. That's crazy. Goat agent. <laughs> Those two playoff wins are probably on the Saints, huh? Fuck you. <laughs> uh, but we're going to go speed around here so y'all can get to this uh, party. Cordero Patterson back to the, the Falcons. Uh, Jake Matthews signed an extension. He's still down there. Uh, just prediction NFC South. Obviously, so Tampa Bay hey, is probably going to win this. You got the Cordero Patterson deal? Like, what he got? I'm curious as to how he got It just paid. has agreed to a contract. Damn. I'm wondering, I'm wondering why he got paid because he does a little bit of everything. Yeah, I would have thought he probably might end up somewhere else to where maybe they would overpay for him just off base off last year because he was doing the most. He might like it in Atlanta. It's not a bad place A lot place of people do. Live. I do. Yeah. I think you would. I know you would. Yeah, I know you do. Bad. You've been there. Yeah, it's not a bad place. I think we should do a live pod from there. Don't maybe just do a pod weekend. I don't Major know. City. It, it, you don't say that on here. <laughs> I would never go there. Um <laughs> <laughs> DJ Moore got got a bag out of uh, Carolina. My three God. Years. Yep, that one of one of Jamal's uh, people's three year extension worth sixty two million dollars. New money gets forty one point six in guarantees with no fucking quarterback. So yeah, good nah, luck. He gets a quarterback. Don't be scary. Yeah. <laughs> when when is the question though? He's gonna be this generation. Andre Johnson. He's putting up good numbers with shit quarterbacks. Or yeah, DeAndre Hopkins prior to uh, Air Bear. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Matthew Ioannidis, I know he's pretty good. He's a D tackle that used to be on the Commanders. Um, he signed there as well. The Washington um, football team. The Saints making a big splash, signing a Contavia Street. You know, is highly sought after DN. I don't know who that is. Who else y'all pick up? Uh, Marcus May was also who we picked up. Oh, he's good. Safety from the Jets. Yes. Uh, I think. I don't know. Yeah, he, he came from the money, Jets. Though, Twenty-eight point five. I just know that uh, when um. When they got rid of uh, Jamal Jamal Adams, he just filled in and didn't miss a beat. Dude, if you think about it, they just kind of came up. Like they got what two first round picks and a third for a safety that doesn't get turnovers. That's insane. Yeah, <laughs> that, the Jets came up. But that that's what teams do when they feel like they're that's the one piece away. And now Seattle's paying two safeties a boatload of money and has no quarterback. Oh yeah, cause they did just they just cash they just cashed out the other hundred digs. Yeah. Yep. Holy shit, um, that's crazy. How do you feel about paying running backs? So the next person to talk about is the Cardinals, and their biggest signing, I believe, was James Conner, besides Zach Ertz. Running backs are important. Like, I, that's just one thing I kind of hate now these last couple years. People just be like, oh, uh, don't pay a fucking running back. Like, anybody that played the violent sport of football, like, they deserve to get paid, especially when you're really good at your craft. Now, I get that, like, there's ways, like, if your team is like in a win now mode, 
and then like maybe like you just need another weapon on offense. I don't mind like paying a little bit for a running back, but like if you're building up your team, you don't need to go out of your way to like pay one be super expensive. But like I don't believe in this like like this way they talk about him now. We're like oh just draft one and run him into the ground and give him four hundred fucking carries and then dispose of him like he's trash. Because like at the end of the day, like these are human beings. They're trying to you know have a career so they can you know like make money you know, like feed their families and all that stuff. But like, I, so I, if, if you can separate can the ethics from the strategy though, do you not see like how that works? Like that? Yeah. That, like I, it, I get it. It makes cause... more sense to just keep a, a running back on his rookie deal than just get another one. Cause like there's, there's like only a handful of ones that are exceptional and like that are going to get you more than like, what is, what is available. If that makes sense. Like, yeah. So, so like, like the Nick Chubbs and the, uh, the Kamaras, Derrick Henry's and the Kamara's, like, like yeah, like if you have a guy like that, I feel like you don't let him go. Like you figure it out, but yeah, for sure. Like yeah. that running back is like one of those things you can hit on like a late round guy, like 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 for uh like for us, like we got James Robinson like the sixth round or something, and like his rookie year he was like fifth in rushing. So for a guy yeah. that's like dirt cheap and like he looked pretty promising. That's what so, they but, say. Like like you know like with the NBA they always talk about like rebounding is like the one thing that translates sort of like from college to the pros. Yeah. But like with um from college to the pros with football, like running backs seem to translate for the most part. Yeah, they say they translate, yeah. Yeah, and there's tons yeah, so. of good running backs all across the nation. So there's not they're, yeah. they're not really hard to find. Like I, I do think like yeah, if you don't have like one of them shortlist guys, then yeah, go to the draft route. I but I like like you're saying, like I agree with that part too. Like it it sucks seeing these guys get treated like trash now. Yeah, like um, I hate that shit. Through. I don't know how they be talking about them. Yeah, but like yo, man, because like like a lot of us like growing up, like running backs are like you know, like I feel like running backs are like a lot oh, of people's like, favorite times. players like growing up times. too. Absolutely. Yeah, like they're hella important. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, not just fucking pieces well, of trash. Especially you can throw out. us growing up too. It's like without having so many black quarterbacks as there is now. It's like nobody's fucking with quarterbacks like that. Like, yeah, it, it wasn't the same. It's either running backs or wide receivers. Like, yep, pretty much. Yeah. Dude, they be talking crazy about him now. Yeah. All right. Uh, Allen Robinson, three years, forty six million dollars, uh, thirty million guaranteed to the Rams. <clears throat> Joe Noteboom, a no tackle, resigned on a three year, forty million dollar deal, that includes twenty five million guaranteed. Uh, also to the Rams, San Francisco, they Charvarius Ward, three years, forty million, and Seattle's just in a fucking pit of misery. Who signed Tredavious Ward? No, this is Char Char Vari- Char Various. No, that's what I said, nigga. Char Various. Like he he was from the Chiefs. Like I feel like he's not bad, but I feel like he be getting cooked sometimes. Is he? Too, I don't know who this is. Is he from the Chiefs? He is from the Chiefs. He, he came from the Chiefs yet. Yeah. Huh. All right, that's everything. That's it. Yeah. So early, way too early predictions on just I conference winners next year and bowl winner. What do you think? Conference winner. They haven't even had the draft yet. You already said the Chiefs for the AFC. Yeah, Chiefs. I don't know who I would think to win the NFC because, like, I know the 49ers are always going to be up there and they're competitive, but they just got a huge – their biggest question mark is a quarterback. I think you're going to have to talk yourself out of the Rams. That's what you're trying to do right now, isn't it? Like, who else would it be? If it's not the Rams, who is it? Is it Tom I guess Brady? It's the Rams, the yeah. I guess, yeah. It's, I guess it's the Rams, and then I guess Tampa's going to be the running book. Yeah, I guess it'll be Chiefs and Rams, conference winners. Yeah. And I would like, I would take uh, Patrick Mahomes to win. You think he would win that, or you want him to win that matchup if that was the matchup? No, if it's the matchup, I want the Rams to win. I want, uh, I want uh, Aaron Donald to load up on rings. That's my guy. Okay. Wait to the draft. Yeah, and we're still you? waiting to see where Teron Armstead ends up. I, I probably um, AFC just based on how good he was playing last year in the playoffs. Josh if, Allen, if yes, if Josh Allen can keep that that type of heat going and come back, and with them picking up a good pass rusher out there, Von Miller, who's like he just came off a ring. Maybe you want to go get another ring? You think you can do that out there? Um, I'm a, I think I'm gonna pick awesome. the Bills. I'm gonna they, pick, they, I'm gonna they, pick they, them to figure it out. They arguably should have won that last game. But their, yeah. their, Let me get, their defense um, gave up 70 yards in eight seconds. Bills, yeah, Bills versus the Rams. Um, and, yeah, it's just, it would just be like one of them storybook years where it don't make sense. They just put it together, and they never get back to that point again after that With as far as the Bills after they win this bowl. Or they're going to win the bowl. No, nah, they're going to lose the bowl. They're cursed. 
they are cursed, but this is going to be the year when the curse doesn't apply. The fifth time is the charm? Yep. Dog, the well, losing four times. straight Super Bowls is insane. Yeah, it is. It is. Is there anything else? Oh. Uh, Not that we had to talk about. Yeah, I guess yeah, I guess it's the, the, the offseason. It's just like the biggest deal. Uh. I ain't really got nothing else, honestly. Man, no, man, go get to that gender over. reveal, dog. Don't. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go see what DP going on. Well, all right, man. Yeah, this man. is a. I'm trying a to get shorter. you out of here. Yeah, it's episode fifty. Thank you for tapping in. Oh man, I gotta give a. I gotta give a. Uh, a shout out, man. Shout out to my boy Earl. Shout out my boy DJ Larry. Shout out my boy Nelson. Shout out to uh, his name is Vindel Zindel. I we was a uh, show your work. Show your work net and uh. Guess it from the stand podcast. Go check those podcasts out. Two great podcasts. Uh, we did a NCAA style uh, Nike basketball shoe tournament. The best Jordan of all time won. Yes, the Jordan twelve. Uh, yeah, man. Mm. Shout out to those guys showing love. Hopefully, we can uh, get some of those guys to come on our show. We, I'm definitely in the talks to work with some of those guys. See if we can get some guys to hop on there because you know they all got their own teams. Like Larry, a Jets fan. And I know Earl, a big Steelers fan. So I'm gonna try to talk to some of them guys. See. If we, you know, get get this uh podcast uh multiverse popping. Yes, I'm with it. Yes, Let's sir. Yeah, no, shout out happen. to them now. But hey, man, All thanks right. for uh, listening to this. And uh, hey, I, was say fuck, I was gonna say fuck somebody, but I can't think of nobody right now. Mm. Oh, yeah, how do you feel about the NFT death row label? With all your the shit going away. No, there we go. Hey, fuck Snoop Dogg for that. Right, yeah. Just right now in particular. You good everywhere other time. Yeah. What you're yet. doing right now. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> Snoop, you on some bullshit, but you know, we'll get into this you know next uh next episode, man. We're gonna get into the Snoop Dogg NFT shit because it's bullshit. But it is. It's All trash. Right. Peace. Peace.